Hello. Hello. Good evening. How are you doing? Hello, Josh. Hello, anybody else who might be watching? Live or VOD or whatever. I hope you're having an excellent night, day, whatever. I'm doing good. Very good, actually. How you doing, Josh? <laughs> Gotta reposition myself, yeah. Thank you for coming to the stream earlier with uh, the debut stream for Nyx. I super appreciate it. I'm glad you were there to help support her. She had a lot of fun. Uh, obviously, <laughs> very nervous. New, um, new experience, but I had a good time. And I think, I think everything turned out pretty well. I think I'm slightly too loud. I turn it down a little bit. I think, there we go. I think that's good. Uh, obviously we were playing more, uh, made murder. <laughs> what is it called? <laughs> Gothic murder. Gothic horror. No. Gothic murder. As you can tell, I'm very well prepared every single time. <laughs> I never screw up anything. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I had really much to go over. Um, today is shout out, and I will probably mention this later too. Uh, is Sundori? As you can see down there. Uh, I am specifically shouting them out, not only because they're cool and I like them, <laughs> um, but we are actually doing a collab. My my first collab. Is the music too loud? <laughs> I always think everything is too loud. It probably was. Uh, we're doing my first collab uh, tomorrow at 1 a.m. Uh, Eastern Time. We're playing Valorant, of all things. I don't usually play first, a lot of first-person shooters, but I'm okay at them, and I, it's like an, a, an arena, no, a battle royale shooter. I think I've played it like twice, once or twice, um, but she posted on Twitter like, hey, any VTubers want to play this with me? And I'm like, hell yeah, I'll play. So that's what we're doing, playing Valorant. Tomorrow at 1 a.m. on this on this stream, she'll be probably over here, and I'll be over there, and it'll be fun. And of course, join me tomorrow on um, Sweet Nick's Plays to see Danganronpa V3. We're continuing that series. Of course, we are always going to continue Danganronpa. Of course. Alright, so without further ado. We continue. We press on into new territory. Un uncharted waters. Of maids and rich people. And <laughs> fighting over estates. Thrilling, but also murder, so that's kind of cool. Everybody loves a good murder. <laughs> steak. Wait, are we having steak? Are you eating steak? Am I missing a reference? There was somebody talking about children being steaks. <laughs> like someone else, someone else I was watching was in the chat room. They were like... Anything could be a steak if you cook it right. <laughs> and the person I was watching had to be like, uh, whoa, tone it down a bit, maybe. Unfortunately, you don't have any steak. Cool. Steaks are delicious, even though I don't eat them anymore. I don't have a problem with other people eating steaks, though. Really anything. It's up to people to live their own lives the way they want to, as long as they're not harming people. Animals are kind of, I don't know, <laughs> a gray area. A delicious gray area. Right into spooky music. 
Ah, uh, here we go. Make sure I got my hydration ready. Steak is better than murder? Yeah, I agree. Or is that greater than murder? <laughs> Either way. Steak is maybe partially... It's murder if you were a cow. If you were a cow and you killed another cow and ate it, you could have a steak and murder. You could check... You could... <laughs> you could tick all the boxes. God, now I feel like I'm too quiet. I can't... <laughs> I can't decide. All right. We're just going to go with this and say it's good. I had a dream again after the poisoning attempt was made. A dream that I killed him. <laughs> Mr. Irving, the light gone from his eyes. Is he dead? Looks like it. Audio's good. Awesome. Thank you. And the game's not too quiet either. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Don't zoom, zoom in on the dead man. Gross. No, it can't be. Why is this happening again? <laughs> Are you really going to sleep forever? Enough already. It's probably Louisa again. Oh my. Suddenly the blanket was torn off and I jumped up. In front of me Lu was Louisa. A cold look on her face. Eh? Where's Mr. Irving? <laughs> Uh, what are you implying? <laughs> is he in Is he supposed to be in here with you? I don't think so. <laughs> what? What? You must still be asleep. Gosh. It was a dream. But the dream of death again. <laughs> I'm pretty sick, aren't I? MC, I'm starting to think you want Irving dead. Oh, I think so. Yo, that would be a crazy twist, wouldn't it? If it was me the whole time, I was like trying to kill him. And yet, another part of me was, like, trying to make sure he didn't die. I'd play that game. Is this also a prophetic dream? If so... Anyway, I've woken you up now. Get ready and come to the hall. Oh, yes, thanks. Uh, I don't want you to come back later and say that I didn't wake you, that's all. That'd be a super solid plot twist, wouldn't it, though? I hope they do that, even though they totally won't. <laughs> I don't think that's this kind of game. <laughs> She's like, by the way, am I going to have to wake you up every friggin' morning? You know that's not my job, right? Well, there are ten minutes left to start work. <laughs> that's on you. You've been in bed this whole time. It's not my fault, right? <laughs> that's pretty much just what I said. What? We only have 10 minutes again. Why don't you set an alarm on your phone or something? Yeah, I'm sure Ms. Noel will be mad if you run like yesterday. Ha <laughs> ha, you deserve it. <gasps> oh, because <laughs> we didn't help her. She doesn't like us anymore. Ah, uh, don't be so mean. <laughs> you mad, Louisa? <laughs> Trying to do the troll face. I can't do it. Are you still mad about that Virgin Mary statue? That was your mistake. Shut up. I'm gonna go now. Yeah, she's still mad. But it's her fault. Oh, I must hurry too. I... I got dressed and tied my hair. I'm saying this out loud, I guess. <laughs> oh my, am I gonna make it? <laughs> she's like, who are you? Are you talking to yourself? Are you talking to me? Another morning rush to get ready. Puff, puff. Uh, I should go to the same place as yesterday, right? The uh hall. -huh. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't have framed us, Louisa. <laughs> Come on, it's not our fault. Hello, you almost didn't make it again. When I arrived at the hall, Ms. Noel was eyeing me in disbelief. No punctuation. Oh. And Louisa was standing off to the side smirking. <laughs> I love her smirk face. She's so cute. But evil. I'm sorry, I... So why are you late today? Oh, don't tell me you slept in. Had another strange dream. She is right. But that's not going to be a good excuse. Um... <laughs> I was drunk. So, oh man, it was really hard to wake up. Uh, super hungover. 
Remember all that wine that was poisoned? <laughs> Turns out it wasn't. I was taste testing it all night. Oh, there you are. Mr. Maurice suddenly appeared and beckoned to me. <laughs> this, this is his beckoning face. Eddie, come with me. My lord is calling you. Mr. Irving is hot damn. <laughs> I'm ready. Yes, Noelle, I'm gonna borrow her. That's kind, that's kind of a weird way to say it, isn't it? <laughs> Understood. A lord is calling. What's going on? And so, with Ms. Noelle and Louisa watching on, Mr. Maurice and I made off for Mr. Irving's room. <laughs> I get to see the master. You jelly. Excuse me, my lord. I brought Ellie with me. Oh, Begging your pardon, my lord. How can I help? I'm about to hear Maurice's report on last night's incident, but I thought I should have you listen too. Oh god, I'm not doing his voice right. Fancy, fancier, fancier. <laughs> how can I must? We've got to go fancier. You helped me last night, and above all, I know you have much to offer in the way of insight. I'm still not doing it right. I'll get it. I'll get it eventually. Oh my! I'm honored. Then now be to report what I learned from my investigation into this wine poisoning incident. I did it. <laughs> it was me. As I stated last night, the poison was probably mixed in when I retrieved the wine cellar from the seance. It totally wasn't in the kitchen when I injected it with the poison. The cellar is normally locked, and after all, my... And my lord and I are the only ones with the key, so, you know, super not suspicious at all. Moreover, it would have been impossible to know which wine my lord was getting to drink in advance. There's so many varieties of wine in this manor. Were you the one who decided which to drink, Mr. Irving? Yes, after the seance, I asked Maurice to bring me a 1900 Margot. So, if the copper was able to mix in the poison, it must have been after I'd taken out the bottle and gone to the dining room to look for a gl glass and such. Or it could have been me. I mean, really. <laughs> Maurice totally isn't full of horse apples. Oh, look at his face. He thinks he's getting away with it, doesn't he? Thankfully, this meddling kid is on the case. Hello! Welcome, just chillin'. 69420, how you doing? Haven't seen you in a long time. Welcome. Welcome back. We're playing a made murder game. Made mystery murder. So, the cover was able to mix in the put. Oh, I already read this. I see. And where did you put the bottle? In the storage next to the kitchen? Uh, the room itself isn't protected under lock and key. Unlike the wine cellar or the shelves for storing silverware table silver tableware which do so as you can see I was completely negligent <laughs> and even if I didn't poison them still my fault storage anyone who wants to once enter the storage could easily do so <laughs> kind of an oversight isn't it and nobody would be able to see them either so long as the door was closed uh-oh starting to sound like Umi Neko in here where's Erica so I checked around to see who, if anyone, could have mixed in the poison. But it seems nobody has an actual, uh, alibi, I believe it is called. You know what it's called. You're not fooling anybody, Maurice. Bet there's clues in the wine cellar? Yeah, we gotta do a search time or whatever. No one has an alibi. Yes, it seems that everyone was doing their own separate thing. Except Miss Grace and Miss Lelia, Layla, though, who told me they were in the room, uh, together in the room. It's not that I doubt them, but their testimony doesn't seem very credible. I got his voice back, excellent. Good work, me. <laughs> Indeed. Even if something happens, they may very well just try to vouch for each other. Damn it. They're gonna get away with murder. So, this means it's possible for everyone in this matter to have committed the crime. What do you think, Ellie? Yeah, I probably did it. Well, for the time being, we should think so. 
I, I hope I can do a little more investigating. Check everyone's belongings, for instance. Uh, aren't you a maid? You should be cleaning, not solving investigators the uh, poison wine. Just just call the police. Or a detective. Like Erica. <laughs> the detective. Then we need to explain the situation to everyone. Does that not sit well with you, my lord? Doesn't know? We must be careful with our words, as to not invite rumors. Ah, oh, hi! You're so sweet! Thank you! Good evening to you as well! Unless you mean the maid in the game, in which case, yes, I agree. But I hope you mean me. Hey, where's my... <laughs> Mr. Irving says so, there's nothing I can do. There's no guarantee that we can find the culprit, even when we check out everyone's belongings. Which I kind of want to do. <laughs> Just want to search through their shit. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Aww. Pretty sure investigating murders isn't in her job description. It is now, apparently. We're the detective maid extraordinaire. <laughs> I love how the music just so abruptly stops. They don't even bother to fade it out or anything. They're just like, nah, we're good. Scene over. We shall conduct rigorous testing for poison when we prepare the meals from now on, my lord. And make sure that things like last night never happen again. Very well. Now then, we shall return to our duties. Sounds like a gun. <laughs> Wait, what sounds like a gun? That we're gonna die by? No, it's poison. Oh, you mean the M219? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I don't think that's one. There's an M1911A1. Uh, Beretta M92. Uh, FS? Wait, no, that's the civilian one. I don't remember. Maybe it's just M92. Eddie, help me prepare the breakfast. Understood. What am I, a friggin' cook now? Jeez. <laughs> How many job titles am I gonna get? This is my second day. Nick's had a great stream a few hours ago. Yeah, it was amazing. I mean, it was her first time, so obviously it was pretty awkward. And she's got a lot to learn, and, you know, she had to learn all the everything. Oh, by the way, since there's more people here, I might as well go ahead and point out, uh, eh, I mean, say, second time, my shout-out down here, uh, Sundori, we will be collabing tomorrow at 1 a.m. We're playing Valorant, uh, of all things, so I hope you come by for that. It's on this channel, 1 a.m. Eastern. And you go check her out in the meantime, if you want. <laughs> it's not an order, I'm a maid. I take orders. I don't give them. Who? Right down here. Sundur Sundori. Sundur Sundori. <laughs> I think it's a play on Sundere. I need to do my work well. Oh god. That dream is making me worried. So happy. I was told to prepare, prepare breakfast, so I must go to the attic. Wait, my room is in the attic. Yeah, Tsunami. You've heard of her, right? Sasami, Tsunami. Um, sister of Aieka. I must go to the kitchen. No, you haven't? You should watch Tenchi. It's really good. Eddie, could you take the tea to the dining room? Yes, of course. Why are we standing in front of a huge map? <laughs> salami! Tsunami, salami, sasami, um... Other things that rhyme? <laughs> yes, of course! That was, that was fast. When I went to the dining room, Ms. Mrs. Grace, Miss Letty, Lil, Layla, 
and Mr. William are talking. That seance was something else. I can't imagine how shocking that was to Irving. Quite right. What was Oliver's spirit really called? You think that medium is a fake? I'm not saying that. Her mother was a very big help to us long ago, after all. However, those words, abominable demons, and what not, they simply do not strike me as something Oliver would say. Because Oliver had a nice personality, didn't he? I don't know, I've never met him. Uh, <laughs> indeed he was, but it's been a while since, no? To me, that stern message sounded just like father. Or did a brother didn't... <laughs> I can't with this voice. I mean, I'm gonna keep doing it, but... <laughs> Our dear brother did not become more and more like him. I see. But I hadn't seen Oliver for nearly ten years by the end, so I can't say anything. Oh yeah, sounds like you really love him. You're just gone. No Christmas, no birthday. Maybe his father's personality was fake. Could be. Maybe his... Maybe his death was fake. We don't know. His spirit was as sour as milk. Inside a bag of milk. Inside a bag of milk. I'm much the same. The funeral here the other day was my first time home in a good long while. Is that so? So the predecessor was estranged from not just Mr. Irving, but his own brother and sister as well. Damn, what a jerk. <laughs> He, like, never calls any of his family? Rich people, man. I was listening to their conversation while serving tea. The, big, the biggest question is the inheritance. <laughs> we could only read the letter halfway. But he did say he doesn't want Irving to inherit this place, right? Oh, look how mad she is. I should have done the angry voice. If that is his will, then Irving is... Don't worry, Layla. That piece of paper won't be recognized as a will. It's Irving who is going to inherit the manor, along with the rest of Rokifold's fortune. Mother, yes, I believe so. Money, 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 money. <laughs> Irving will marry me and work to make the Rokifold family flourish even more. It's impossible that he won't inherit the fortune. See, that's all she cares about is money. I mean, it doesn't matter. She's kind of cute. I like her eyes and her hair. Ha oh, believing something is all well and good, but whether it actually happens is a different story. At that time, Mr. Ew Ewin came in from the dining room door. Grace has ulterior motives for sure. Oh, I mean, I feel like her ulter bleh, bleh. ulterior motives are not even, like, hidden. She's just straight up like, I want money. Give to me. Looks like you guys are having fun. What are y'all talking about? Y'all? <laughs> Nothing? What, you only talk to your relatives? I'm a guest too, you know. Ha, huh, a guest too. You know nothing about your social position. I hate to talk to you. I hate to even sit down at the same table. Oh man, they're all so stuck up. Oh, I'm hated all right. I haven't done anything though. That vulgar way of speaking. I eat like a stray dog. There are plenty of reasons to hate you. <laughs> right, they're all jerks. And all he cared about was money too. The second he came in, it was like, how much do you think this furniture is worth? <laughs> I see. If you say so, then I'll say that I'm sick of your pretentious way of speaking and eating. But so what? <laughs> Excuse me? You know nothing about manners. You really don't know where you stand. Who do you think you're talking to? Things are getting kind of tense. What should I do? <laughs> it is not your job. You're a maid. <laughs> Get the hell out of there. They need to stop drinking that haterade or she's the one serving it. What should I do? Arbitrate or watch silently. It's really none of my business. <laughs> but I sh but I'm gonna save. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna give these idiots a 
peace of my mind. I mean, help them. Yeah, slap everyone. Ah, <laughs> uh, why don't we stop there? It'd be better if all the guests got along. What? I'm sorry, is a mere maid telling us what to do? Do be quiet. Um, I'm very sorry, bud. Shut the fuck up right now, bitch. <laughs> Stop it. Don't put your hands in front of a riled up dog. You're just gonna get bitten, right? Okay. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have done that. I beg your pardon, riled up dog. Later scream echoed through the air. What's going on? It's so noisy. Yeah, <laughs> just body slam her through the table. Good idea. Mr. Irving entered the dining room. Irving, listen, this guy is being so rude to us. What? Look who's talking. I was just trying to make a conversation. You're the one who's going on and on, or you're the one going on about knowing my place. I understand the general situation. Please calm down. Mr. Irving took a breath and turned to everyone. I'm telling you as a head of the household, you guests are not to be rude to each other regardless of who you are. As long as you stay in this manner, I don't want you to make people around you uncomfortable. Can I trust that you will all comply? Okay, if you say so, Irving. Okay, okay, as you wish. I don't want to get kicked out. <laughs> Need to figure out some way to steal your money, right? Everyone calm down. Miss Irving sure is impressive. Swoon. Ah. <laughs> Why did you get here? <laughs> she just teleported in like Goku. Uh, what was her voice again? She was like, No wonder. No, no one. <laughs> I don't know her voice. No wonder it's so lively. You were all together. Welcome. Pookins! Oh yeah, you like the- you like Mahi? I like her outfit. Um, pretty sure she's the villain though. Or they're setting her up that way. You stepped into, um, mild intrigue. Over inheritance. Bad girls are my specialty? Hell yeah, stick around. You're gonna see lots of them. One of them broke a, broke a Virgin Mary statue and tried to frame me. As to the bad. Miss Molly has entered the dining room. Her usual smile on her face. Smug bitch. I still can't tell what she's thinking of. But now that she's here, let's turn down the music abruptly. Everyone's present. I should bring out the breakfast. Yeah, you stepped into Layla, about to get slammed through a table. <laughs> if only that was an option. As I entered the kitchen, I heard Louisa talking loudly. Ugh. And then, Lady Layla called Edwin a stray dog, I swear. It was like things were about to get physical. <laughs> wow, I definitely want to be there when things get physical. Uh, oh god, what was this guy's voice again? Oh, that's how you should start the morning. So who won? They seem to be enjoying a, a seem to enjoy talking about it, even though they're exaggerating a little. <laughs> Tonight a Friday night smackdown. Maid versus Rich Lady. I'm definitely gonna get fired for this. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday. Oh I mean Friday. Look all of you, let's talk mo what <laughs> More work. Let's talk more rock. Are you going to keep the Lord and the guests waiting? She's my va favorite voice to do. Other than maybe the the Lord. I like his voice too. I'd watch it. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'd hire you if we got fired. Not me. I'm not gonna get fired. My my position is permanent. Well, I guess Twitch could fire me technically, but then I just go to YouTube. So ha. Just try. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I will take these. If you're low on staff, I can help carry the dishes. No, that's not necessary. 
You're still an apprentice, so stay away from the guests, you peasant. Sorry. She she really does remind me a lot of um what's her name? Yasu? I think it's alright, we're short stepped anyways. No, we can't just have anyone serve the guests. Assign the task assigning the task to an untrained servant would be a disgrace to the guests, wouldn't it? Is that so? <laughs> Hi, I'm here too now. <laughs> There used to be more servants here in the old days. One time, we let a lot of people go. Natalie seems harmless, which makes her suspicious. Exactly. What is she up to? She's the one killing, trying to kill everybody. Again, awesome twist. Uh, after that, the, uh, after that, there were wars and the like, and the predecessor didn't fill out the ranks, so we're still low on numbers. I see. By the way, uh. Are all these servants- are these all the servants we have here? Yes, this is it. We do have other servants who don't live here, like the gardeners. Pleh. That means I've met everyone in the manor. I didn't notice anyone acting weird. <laughs> you didn't? What about the people who were at the seance? <laughs> who were clearly trying to, like, mess with the inheritance. They were definitely acting weird. The culprit in poison Mr. Irving's wine and the culprit who wrote the message on the will paper must be present in this manner, though. Eddie, take these soups, too. I've just finished taste te testing them for... <laughs> for poison. Uh, yeah, no, I wasn't dying. They're not poison. It's just our cook is horrible. We couldn't afford a new cook. He's actually the uh, stable hand. <laughs> but after we fired everybody, we had just got it. <laughs> anyone we could to fill the positions. <laughs> Didn't you hit your head, MC? <laughs> right? Exactly. Tons of suspicious people everywhere. Understood. Yes, sir, now being through, thorough with your testing today. Yes, things cannot go wrong again. Yeah, we can't let our guard down. Poison could find, very well find its way into other things, too. I mean, with Mr. Maurice's testing, we should be fine. But still, I need to be on the lookout. Unless, as we have previously established, he might be the one poisoning people. Therefore... His word on whether or not it's poisoned is completely irrelevant. But, yeah, whatever. We'll trust him. Regarding last night's interrupted seance, I've decided not to continue with it tonight. Mr. Irving's house we came after breakfast. I'm still considering our options going forward. I hope to come to a decision as soon as possible, but... Currently drinking San Benedito Peach tea that sounds amazing is it like your own is it like a recipe for tea or is it like a brand i see understood to be honest i feel relieved for not doing it tonight however i do have work to do so please decide quickly i don't mind anything Seriously, if you stabbed me in the foot, I'd be like, yeah, whatever, bro. Don't care. Don't mind. It's Italian tea I bought off Yummy Bazaar. What the heck is Yummy Bazaar? That sounds fantastic. What do they sell? I must know. I must know all the, the details. Irving, don't rush. Think carefully and decide. I'll be waiting for you either way. Oh, thank you. Wait, why are you trying to get me to change my mind? I wonder what happened to the seance. In th he just said you're not doing it. <laughs> In the end, it still relates to the matter of the will. So things should be considered carefully, yes. It you're the maid. <laughs> it doesn't matter at all to you. I think your Irving voice is my favorite. Why, thank you. I do enjoy it myself indeed. It's also Byakuya. And pretty much anybody who's all rich and stuck up. 
And and male, I suppose. Miss Mahi is suspicious in various ways, after all. Plus, there was attempted poisoning, too. Incidentally, I'm free as a bird today. Oh, I know. Why don't we all go hunting for some birds that I am as free as? Like, it's so much not like your normal voice. It, <laughs> it feels like a completely different person on the mic. It's like magic. Ah, thank you. That's kind of cool. Hunting! Hunting monsters! <laughs> There's a hunting ground behind the mansion. Pheasants and other birds are bred just for the occasion. I was right, he is hunting birds. Oh, how nostalgic. Used to go hunting with father. I miss those days. Speaking of which, there was a walnut tree there. <laughs> so? Ermie, do you remember whether we went to get walnuts when we were young? Of course. We used to... We used that tree to mark where the ground... Wait, where the ground was itself? What the, what the heck does that mean? The ground is on the ground. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you having a stroke? <laughs> this gra this floor is made of floor. I see. They sell Japanese, French, Italian, Swedish, Dutch, Spanish, Asian, Irish, UK, and American products. I must. I must to go. I must find it right now and bookmark. Yummy. Bizarre. Oh, it's in Glassboro, New Jersey, too. Oh, cool. Awesome food, free shipping. All right, cool. Now I've got it open for later. Thank you, Josh. I love snacks. Yeah, I know where the ground is. <laughs> Without relying on marking. Anyway, continuing on, Irving. <laughs> I just assume you're okay. Wow. <laughs> this... Is he okay? Maybe he's been poisoned again. So there's even a place to hunt here. Nobles are amazing. Saved hunting ground in memory. So what do you say? I think it really helps strengthen our relationship. To go murder some innocent animals for sport. Unlike the past, there are no hounds, uh, no hounds now, so it may be a little difficult there. You have to search for and get the prey yourself. Oh, how droll. Well, no objections here. It's been a while. I'm itching to test my skills. I can't hunt, so I'll accompany my mother. What? She's gonna hunt too? That's cool. How very progressive. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't kill... yet. At least, not with a gun. Poison is fine, though. <laughs> is that so? Well, I won't, won't force you. That's the voice I keep forgetting how to do. It's like the surfer voice. What about you? Me? I never, uh, I've never hunted before. I'll teach you soon, why not? I think just, I think such experience is hard to come by. Well then, seems like a good way to pass the time, before I rob you all blind. All right, you'll be joining too, Irving? Yes, I'm the host, of course I will, idiot. Mr. Irving will go hunting too, will be he be all right? <laughs> yeah, that is awfully nice of William, to invite everybody to go shoot things out in the woods. With guns. Oh shit! <laughs> I was kidding. I think he's for legit gonna get shot out there. Look, it's like trees in the background. Well, he's freaking dead. It was fun while it lasted. I'll have the staff get things ready for the hunt. They should be done by noon, so please wait until then. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's doomed. With those words, Mr. Irving, Irving left the dining room. What should I do? Save the game. <laughs> Please don't kill that voice. Oh, I think he's gonna be the whole game. What about the, um... What about the servant lady? Does that sound at all like me? 
I felt like that was a, a very, uh, not like my voice, voice. The one that's like, Louisa, what are you doing? Get back to work at once. I... Excuse me. I guess we need to warn him to be careful. <laughs> I love that emote, um, emote, emote. It, cause it, I know it's like big lips, but it looks like it's just a, an agape mouth. It looks like just someone's like. Uh, music gone. Are we gonna need a get death counter for Irving? Two. Put it up, two. Oh no, my stream is crashing. Oh no, it's fine. It's the Irving voice, but I can't understand that that's you doing it. <laughs> cool. I don't consider myself great at voice acting, but it is fun. There's probably other ones I could do. I have to say something. I don't know if he would believe my dream, but at least I should tell him to be careful. With that thought, I went after Mr. Irving. Mr. Irving, may I talk to you? You want to talk? Sure. Mr. Irving stopped and looked back at me. Ah, uh, I immediately forgot why I came out here. It seems that you will be hunting today. Please be careful. Oh, of course. There is always danger in hunting. No, not that. Someone may come after your life again. Ah, uh, yes. That was just what happened last night. For example, what if the participants start shooting at you? <laughs> Is that not a possibility in itself? I don't think so, no. At least not during the hunt. For one thing, I'll be out of their range. What? Why would you be out of their range? Won't you be standing next to them? Like, talking? I always have eight to ten deer in my backyard. Oh, that's so cool. I'm jealous. We have a lot of deer around here. But we usually only see them when we go walking. There's like a little wooded area. Out of range? Does that mean everyone will act separately? Yeah. <laughs> Why are they saying yeah like that? Yeah, bro. When the Roker Falls hunt together, we always take charge of separate areas. <laughs> so I think that's how we'll do it this time as well. I don't know why that is, really. So we could scare away all the animals, I suppose. <laughs> you guys have backyards where the the one percent. I my my backyard is like hmm. If I lay down um on it widthwise, my my whole body would fit like just barely. It's tiny, tiny. It's it's really more of like an alley with grass. As long as they stay in their areas, it'll be difficult to shoot me. They're all pretty far apart. I see. But couldn't someone just sneak closer to a location within range? God damn it, you're right. What a fool I've been. It's not impossible, but the hunting ground is in the woods. So I think it'll be hard to find me. <laughs> I'll be fully camoed out. I'll be on my guard, though. You please be careful. You see, my lord. I actually had a dream. Okay, going now. Hello, welcome. Hi, Maggie Boon. Maggie, Maggie Bun, how are you doing? Welcome. I'm glad you could come by for some more murder made mystery mayhem. I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Um, my my wife Nix. Um, her uh, uh, uh her name is. Um, Sweet Nick's Plays. She just had her debut earlier today. Um, if you'd like to go check her out. Uh, Sweet N-I-X. Sweet Nick's Plays. Uh, she's very, <laughs> very nervous and getting better. Um, and also, Sundori, down here. I'm gonna be collabing with her tomorrow at 1. We're gonna play Valorant. Yeah, that's it. Sweet Nick's N-I-X. Thank you. Thank you, Pookins. Yeah. 
Maybe one saying, oh, <laughs> yeah, over and over again was, was a meme in the VOD. And what? Oh, what? What'd you say? Oh. <laughs> a dream? Um, a dream that you were killed? Actually, I sometimes have prophetic dreams. That's why I knew someone was trying to poison you last night. Prophetic? I know it's hard to believe. In any case, please be careful. All right. He still seems to be on the fence about it all. I guess it's not something you can just believe right off the bat. You're probably because it's crazy. Ah, speaking of which, my lord, I'll be checking for any suspicious activity around the manor on my end, too. Totally my job. Watching for suspicious activity. Not, you know, dusting and doing laundry. And Mr. Debut will follow, though. Hooray! Yeah, I mean, she's gonna be mostly streaming earlier. Um, because she goes to bed around 11 or midnight. Yeah, we're both VTubers now. It's so exciting. Well, we did, um, before I was VTuber, we used to do YouTube all the time. If you happen to look up my YouTube channel, uh, also, Emmy Akina, you'll, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of videos with us together. We play Danganronpa and AI Somnium Files. Uh, please feel free to check them out if you'd like. There's no VTubing involved, though. It's just, it's just disembodied voices. So cute. You are. Wait, hold on. Look at this. Aha! Emmy added to the list of games I need to play. Yeah, AI Somnium Files is great. It's a really, really good game. I was very... I thought that playthrough was really fun. If you don't want mind... <laughs> if you don't mind watching me before I, um... How do I put it? Figured out who I am? Uh, then you then you would enjoy then you will enjoy it if you don't mind that. My personality is maybe a little a little different than now. Next you'll tell me I need to play Shibuya one, two, three, four, five. It's um what, Shibuya Scramble? We played one or two episodes of that. Too long though. It's a very long game, I think. You will, will you? <laughs> and who is going to clean my sheets? I don't think so. So what I hired you for? Yes, I promise to do everything I can. I will be expecting a bonus, though. I thought you literally spoiled Somnium for me. Did I? I don't think so. That's Kodaka's other game? Oh, is it really? It's by, oh yeah, it's by the people who did, um, 999. I don't, I don't think I spoiled it, did I? Oh, no. No. When you said before I figured out who I am, I thought you meant the plot twist. Is not what you think you are? Yeah. I haven't figured out the Emmy. Well, it's not character. It's more like me. It's, it's just me. It was, um... D denial, I guess. A lot of, a lot of denial. You did? You really are like a detective. Am I? I don't think it's such a big thing. Still, if anyone could get to the bottom of this, it's you. Your logic behind the poisoned wine incident was superb. Also... I like it when you say big thing. So, yeah, I'll beat it and watch your old YouTubes. Ah, cool. Yep, as long as, like I said, as long as you're okay with me being slightly different. If I were to read detective novels myself, would I be able to reason like that? Oh yeah, you can watch us hate on Bubsy. And lots of other crappy retro games. Aw, it's fine as long as it's Emmy. Emmy is always great. Why are you so awesome? <laughs> Seriously. Maggie, Maggie Boone is so sweet to me. Who knows? 
<laughs> what? What a rude thing to say. <laughs> He's like, maybe I'll, I could be as good a detective as you. Eh. Sure. Sure thing, buddy. But if you're interested, please do try to pick some up. There's so many interesting stories. That's right. Maybe I should. What do you recommend? My recommendation? Well, let me think. Uh... Uh... Spot goes to the store. This is like Kiri Gary talking to Makoto. <laughs> Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student hiding somewhere in the school. Watch out for her. The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes may be a good choice as your first as your first book. It's a collection of short stories and all and all are good. You think I would read friggin' Sherlock Holmes? What do you take me for? <laughs> what are you talking about, Irving? You talking with a lowly maid? Miss Layla came in between us as if to interrupt. Oh, it's nothing. If a maid could hear if a maid could hear about it, so can I. I haven't been in a, had a proper conversation with you since I arrived at the manor. Is that so? I'm sorry. That's fine. Instead, can you spend a lot of time with me today? Uh, no. <laughs> All right, I have something I want to show you, Irving. Uh, not right now, Jesus Christ. Wait till later. Plot twist, Irving's dad was secretly the Monopoly man. <laughs> Yeah, Uncle Moneybags or whatever. Although apparently he doesn't have like an official voice. Or not voice, name. Like everyone calls him that. Like Uncle Pennybags or Uncle Moneybags or whatever. I don't, he doesn't actually have a name. He's just like the Monopoly Man. <laughs> something to show me. Goodness. Well, something I want you to listen to more like it. I'm going to prepare, so look forward to it. Will you come to the terrace in an hour or so? Sh Surely there's a Monopoly wiki out there. Oh my god, are you kidding? Of course there is. People friggin' love Monopoly. Even though it's really... not a good game. <laughs> sure, whatever. <laughs> Dude, she's like propositioning you. You don't care? Uh, uh, well... Should I go? I stood in silence. It was like I didn't exist. Can't find a good time to speak, obviously. What should I do? It's awkward being here, but I shouldn't leave without permission. <laughs> Ellie, what are you doing? At that moment, Miss Noel thing passed by. Thank God. <laughs> the more you know. If you're free, clean the guest rooms. Yes, right away. With that, I breathed a sigh of relief and excused myself. Clean the guest rooms. Maybe this is my chance to investigate the guests? Yeah, I'm just gonna rummage through other shit. Ah, oh, you can see my cheeks puff out when I drink. Never played the game of life, though? It, it sucks. <laughs> it's really never, never, not very good. Oh, Hungry Hungry Hippos was your childhood? That I never played. Um, we had a ton of games, but my parents would never buy anything where you could lose all the little pieces like that. Like, obviously you can for Monopoly, but, um, games where you would, like, be frantically smacking stuff. So the pieces would fly everywhere. Like we didn't have... Uh, what's that one? Like Crossfire? Everyone remember that one? Crossfire! Because the little balls would get lost everywhere. Oh yeah! Connect 4! That game's fun. Although... Kind of... Kind of easy. Oh god. Where was I supposed to go? Um... I guess I could just check out any of the guests, right? Let's secretly go to the terrace. Oh my god. <laughs> I gotta save it first. Let's see what what's her name is up to. You're bad at Connect 4? Yeah, it's kind of like, um... It's one of those games that 
I think there's like a perfect way to play. Kind of like Go. Go, there's a perfect way to play. And if you'd follow it, then you can't lose. I think Connect 4 is the same way. But of course, it's like a kid's game, so... Looks like he was originally Rich Uncle Milburn Pennybags, but renamed to Mr. Monopoly. Oh! So it's actually a lie that he was never named that. You've spent a dangerous amount of hours on Connect 4? Is it a great drinking game? <laughs> Do you just drink whenever you lose? By the way, has anyone played, um... Or anyone have, um... Yacht, no. What's it called? Yacht Club Games for Switch? So many good games on there. If it has on, if it has an online mode, I don't remember if it does. If it does, maybe I could play with, um, some Twitch viewers sometime. Ah, oh, that's where I learned, um, mm, Hana Hanabi? No, not Hanabi. What, what is it called? The... It's the card Japanese card game, the thing that Nintendo first made. You don't even have a Switch. Oh no! You're missing out on so many good games. I totally took you for a Animal Crossing player. I'm surprised you don't. I'm just stereotyping you. <laughs> I'm like, you must be a <laughs> you must be an Animal Crossing player. Because you're adorable, and adorable people always play Animal Crossing. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the Terrace. Oh, that you borrowed a Switch and you loved it, but then you got lonely? <laughs> Hi, Sleepy! Hi! How are you doing? Welcome! Everybody, it's Sleepy! She's my friend. I, li I like her a lot. She's also got a channel. It's very small. Please go support Sleepy's Planet. Yeah, Animal Crossing can be kind of social, but also not. Because it's, it's difficult to communicate with people. It's kind of like an MMO where you can't type to people. I guess you could be on Discord. But there's nothing really built in. Except for like little emotions that you can do. When I looked out on the terrace, no one was there. Mr. Irving and Ms. Layla are supposed to be meeting there. But perhaps it's still early. Ah oh, man, I was totally gonna spy on them. I'm not sweet, you're sweet. We're gonna play games together soon, I think. If I weren't so friggin' busy all the time. <laughs> I had to do, um... My, uh, wife, Nix's, um, debut stream today. Uh, her, her, her name is Sweet Nix Plays. Sweet N-I-X Plays. If you'd like to check that out, please do. Uh, we will also be playing Danganronpa V3 tomorrow. Yeah, thanks, Pookins. He's given all the, the, um, the helpful links today. Tomorrow you had said, you had said I had weeks. Oh no, you do have weeks. Um, because it doesn't, I don't think it spoils the first two games, at least not for a long time. And it's a very long game and we're only playing it once a week. So it'll probably be a long time before we get anywhere near a spoiler for the first two games. I mean, you'll see stuff, I guess, that you maybe don't want to see ahead of time, but it I don't think it'll be spoiling it at all. You need to be up all night tonight? Why is that? Uh, I guess we'll just investigate. This is the most suspicious guy. This is Mr. Erwin's room. There's no one here. Should I look around the room as well as clean? To finish 13 anime episodes? No! Don't torture yourself! I mean, it's a great series, but geez. You'll be fine. You won't really spoil anything. Or you could just watch the VODs later. I appreciate you showing up, but you don't have to. Especially not if it means you'll lose sleep. Search start!
All right, let's check his bed first. There's a pendant by the pillow. I steal it. <laughs> you had to sleep too soon too. Have a great night. Oh, uh, watching this while you do your skincare. You're so sweet. Thank you. I appreciate you being here. Sleepy's planet. Yep. You should see. Uh, go go see her if um. Uh, the the picture her PNG avatar. It's so adorable. It's why I clicked on her in the first place. Oh, well, she was playing Doki Doki Literature Club too, which I really really like. And then I was enraptured for like the two hours I kept watching. I was like, this is so great. I did not following. Hooray! There's a pendant by the pillow. What should I do? Uh, investigate, obviously. <laughs> you wanted to date cute girls. Oh my. Yep. That's why I started playing it too. <laughs> I did not date cute girls. No. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the pendant. It's more like a locket. Who is this person? Inside there was a picture of a thin middle-aged woman. Well, getting judgy. I think she looks like Mr. Ewen. Is this his mother? Say pendant in memory. Yeah, you don't need to watch Danganronpa 3 anime to understand V3 because they are completely separate. Yep. Oh, Josh, you know about V3, right? Does he have a while before we get any into anything that would spoil one or two? Other than maybe like, Manokuma exists. Which is not a spoiler, obviously. Is there something inside? I checked the drawers, but there was nothing inside. I don't bother to clean anything. Oh, you already finished one and two in girls. Oh, yeah. I, you don't have to worry then. I don't think three spoils any of the anime stuff. Like, at all. I think it's completely separate. Is there something inside? I checked the drawers, but there was nothing inside. Inside was the bag that Mr. Ewen brought with him. What should I do? Look inside. Oh, you're trying to finish it before you watch the first V3 stream. Oh, I got good and bad news for you. We're not starting from the beginning. So you will have to go and watch um, our playthrough on YouTube, which is pre-VTuber. Because that's, that's where it is. So if you watched live, you would be, you would be watching from like, um, I mean, we're, we're kind of still in the first, like we just beat the prologue. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, there's like five hours. There's a lot. We're killing you over here, huh? <laughs> Better get the coffee brewing. Dude, you better get like some meth brewing. <laughs> you gotta be up for a week solid. I know it's not good, but I may find something about Mr. Ewan. Just a little. Looking inside, I found a wallet, clothes, daily necessities, and the like. Nothing to be concerned about, really. Just the things that any commoner would carry. Blech. His everyday life must be as simple as ours. I checked everything here. The locker was the only thing that got my attention. I think this is important. And expensive. <gasps> what are you doing there? I know it's Louisa. It's always Louisa. <gasps> ah! Oh god, it's him. We are screwed. Looking back, Mr. Ewan was standing behind me. I'm just cleaning. I'm the maid after all. How did that happen? How long was he watching me for? Oh, God is right. Why were you trying to steal my pendant? Oh, why were you holding my pendant? Trying to steal it or something? It's only cheap, you know. I, I don't steal. Well, then what? You just thought you'd snoop around my room, huh? I... Uh, yeah. You've been watching the anime at one and a half times speed? That's probably a good idea. Yeah, everyone is pissed. No one cares, he's a commoner. 
What's he gonna do? Nothing. You sure are nosy. What, did the master tell you to check on me or something? He didn't know. Something piqued my interest, that's all. It was all me. <laughs> yeah, way to, way to sound believable. What are you so interested in? Tell me. Well, what should I do? I mean, it's all out in the open now. Maybe I should just ask. What should I ask about? Saving the game. Um, who is in the locket? Why'd you get called to the manor? I thought he said he didn't know. He was like, I don't know why I'm here. Who is this person in the picture? My mother! I knew it! So she, she does look like you, Mr. Ruin. Yeah, she was beautiful then. Look at his face, he's so sad. She was beautiful then. She was nothing but skin and bones at the time of her death. So she's already passed away. Thank God. I thought I was going to have to kill her. Update, updated pen in memory. <laughs> oh boy. Suddenly Mr. Ewan stared at me. He was doing that before too. <laughs> the panic basket. Oh my God, it's on fire. I thought it had like snacks in it. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could eat fire, right? What? What's wrong? No, it's just my mother was a maid like you. She worked for a baron and his family. Pathetic. Your mother too, really? There was an epidemic going on around the time. It got her master, so she had to take care of him. But then she got affected herself. She collapsed to the floor one day and... And eventually the de disease claimed her life. Oh, is this your story? Oh, I thought I was telling the story. No, tell me all about what happened to my mother, please. The Baron's family was horrible. As soon as she collapsed, they fired and kicked her out. Jesus Christ. That is horrible. It's full of spicy snacks. Epidemic, you say? Yeah, that, that last one. That last pandemic from the 1920s. Huh? But she only collapsed because of the... For a noble, a maid is either useful or not. That's all they care about. You know, because they... They pay them. So if a maid is useless, I mean... Yeah, screw the Baron's family. And also the, the maid's family, I guess. <laughs> no matter how loyal you are, when you become useless, they're done with you. Oh, shit. I wonder if this is one of the reasons why Mr. Ewan hates Layla. I can never get that name right. Leela. And others. Because of how nobles treated him and his family. You'll be careful too. When you die of a disease, they're definitely gonna fire you. That's terrible on so many levels. It is. But they don't care. It's the 1920s. What? No matter how hard you work for the master, you won't get rewarded. Is he saying that out of concern for me? Or because of because of, of how I tried to do too much for Mr. Irving? You do do too much. You're not getting paid to investigate. Maybe Mr. Irwin is right. I mean, no, Mr. Irwin would never be so heartless. But still, <laughs> effort doesn't necessarily guarantee a reward. <laughs> uh, the 20s. Oh no, triggered. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't think about it. It's not the 20s. It's, um, it's 1997. Uh, Clinton is still in office and the economy is booming. You don't mean the 2020s. No, I do not. Oh, that's kind of weird, right? Are we calling them the 20s now? Excuse me. Not that you could hear that. But I still think I want to do everything I can to protect Mr. Irving's life. Oh, uh, that's kind of different. You know, protecting his life and um, doing stuff to get a reward is very different. What should I ask about? Why'd you get called to the manor? I'd like to ask you why you were called to the manor, Mr. Ewan. Was he on trial? 
Yeah, I guess that's actually confusing, right? I mean, to me, I don't call the 2020s the 20s at all. To me, it's just the 20, the 2020s and the 2010s. It's just easier to say that way. Did you really mean what you said to Mr. Irving last night? Uh, you were listening to that? <laughs> when I said him and I are actually brothers, I'm pretty serious. Think about it. Everyone at the seance, they were all family, except for that medium. It doesn't make sense for me to come be the odd one out, right? Maybe we're not brothers, but we could be related, no? I just really, really, really want some inheritance, please. That's true. But it didn't seem like anyone who knew Mr. Ewan was. Would relatives act like that to each other? Anything else you want to ask? Oh, sorry, I turned down the radio. It was a little loud. No, this is enough. Thank you for sharing those things with me. I'm going to report back to Master right away. Snitch on you. Yeah, give this man some money. Look, he looks so terribly poor. With his, you know, fancy vest and little bejeweled um, tie clip. Okay. Uh, well, uh, well, okay. If I will, if I can. All right, it's a promise. I wonder what will ask me. I'm a little worried. Though still slightly anxious at the thought, I left Mr. Ewan's room. Do -do -do -do. I took the flute out of my pocket and immediately started playing. You want his outfit? Yeah, it's kind of cute. I want her outfit, but no, I already have it. Uh, green room. I'm pretty sure this is Mr. Williams' room. There was nobody there. Well, there shouldn't be. I better start cleaning, I suppose. Huh? What are you doing here? What is going on, William? Explain. At, at, that, at that time, Mr. William and Miss Grace came in, to, in the room together. Well, I just need a little money. Like I said, one of my transactions fell through. So you want to borrow money from me, even though you just bought yourself a shiny new car? Before, just, before I knew just how bad the transaction had gone, yes. Look at my poor, sad, dejected eyes. How can you turn this man down? Oh, I see. Uh, I'm sorry, but I can't. I have some financial matters I'm attending to myself. Which includes shutting you out. Oh, I know. I'm really sorry. I must ask you not to go to Irving. He's going to marry Leela. I don't want to make my child have a hard time. In the first place, that marriage is... Wait. So they're cousins, right? If, um, yeah. If she is the brother... Or she's the sister of, um, his dad, then they're cousins? Yeah, scummy rich people. Pleh. No, putting Layla herself aside. You're very enthusiastic about this marriage, aren't you? Why wouldn't I be? It's only natural to want to fulfill her wishes. She is my darling daughter. My only daughter. Of course, marriage must have a future, but... This union will strengthen both the Rockefords and my own family, so there's no problem. We'll be rock solid. Make the family rock solid. That's what I thought. Mr. William and Grace are both dealing with issues of their own. I don't really know the details or care. Besides, is it even okay for me to listen to their stories here? Well, they didn't tell you to leave, so they probably don't care. They probably see you as, like, furniture. Anyway, I... Oh. She, she looked at me as if noticing me for the first time. 
What is getting on, huh? How long have you been there? Um, since the beginning? You stood there quietly the whole time. You really are clueless. Get out of here. Yes, ma'am. I'm truly sorry. She's really cross with me. Guess I shouldn't have listened in after all. I bowed deeply and left Mr. Williams' room. <laughs> when I opened the door, Louisa was standing there. God damn it, Louisa. Don't you have shit to do? <laughs> Man, okay, this marriage is going to result in a rock hard rate. Ew, yeah. I mean, generally, if you're, do if you're doing marriage right, yes. Uh, depending on the type of marriage, obviously. Not every marriage will include such things. Huh? Why are you here, Louisa? Do you have nothing better to do than follow me around? Quiet. Huh? Lu <laughs> Louisa covered my mouth and dragged me off to the side. <laughs> she, was, she was holding a chloroform rag. And I passed out. It, yeah, such, such things. Marriage things. Yeah, we're okay here. I was kind of freaking out there for a minute. <laughs> you mean when you drag me across the room? All the characters are nosy? Yes, even me. We're all nosy. Except for maybe like Maurice. He seems kind of chill, but he is trying to murder everyone. Louisa, what were you doing there? Nothing. I was just eavesdropping. Well, <laughs> at least she's honest about it. Interesting conversation Mr. William was having, eh? Eavesdropping? Oh, how terrible of you! <laughs> Even though it's literally just what I did. It sounds like they're having quite a difficult time. This is my smug face. Things really could blow up, don't you think? Are you having fun, Louisa? Does it matter if I am? This is a perfect way to fight out this boredom. Louisa gave me one final glare, then left. Boredom, huh? I wonder if everyone starts craving excitement like that after working here so long. Anyway, I didn't really understand all of what Mr. William and Ms. Grace were talking about. Did Louisa? I'll ask her the next time I see her. T yeah, Louisa, have you learned nothing? Jeez. Terrible maid. Alright. What do we go to next? The blue room. Oh, she's here. As I entered the blue room, I saw Ms. Mahi relaxing inside. Dang it, I can't go through everything. Well now, is something the matter? I'm here to clean the room. Go ahead, don't worry about me. Yes, excuse me. Uh, could you, could you turn around? What's wrong? Um, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Take a seat right over here. Sure, I don't mind. What is it? Miss May sure is friendly, all things considered. She was a little creepy at the seance, though. What should I ask about? Her past. The seance. MC isn't a good maid either since she doesn't actually do her job. <laughs> right? She really doesn't. But she is investigating, so it's kind of my job, I, I guess. I'd like to ask you about the seance last night. Was there really a spirit there? I mean, exactly how full of shit are you? Keep in mind before you answer, I already know. <laughs> yes, Mr. Oliver was there. I see, okay. So we're gonna play it like this, huh? <laughs> Honestly, I'm not convinced, cause it's bullshit. But no matter what I ask, he's just gonna give the same answers as last night. What should I ask about? Her past. I heard you've been here once a long time ago, but what was the reason? It wasn't for a seance, right? I'm sorry, I can't tell you without permission. I see, pardon me for asking. Mr. Irving didn't tell me uh, either when I asked last night, so I guess I better not pry. Is there anything else? No, thank you very much. Yeah, stop lying, Mahi. Is that like your trap card? I can't tell what that is. Cheese? I like cheese. If you're handing me cheese in the chat, thank you. With that, I properly cleaned the room and left. Alright, um, wait, how come we can go back to the blue room again? 
Hmm. Let's try the white room now. This is Mrs. Grace and Ms. Layla's room. I guess there's no one here, huh? Oh, you are here? At that time, Ms. Layla entered the room. Yes, I was about to clean. Should I leave? I'm going to practice my violin, but you can stay if you don't bother me. Just kidding, you bother me just by being here. Get out of here. Get your get your poverty poverty away from me. Pet. Violin, you play Are you still talking to me? <laughs> yes, ever since I was a child. What? You're not a child now? Okay. I'm I'm pretty good, at least I am now. Irving told me otherwise a long time ago though. Mr. Irving told you that you weren't good. God, I should let him die. What a jerk. Oh, yellow card is a warning in soccer. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I knew that. I just thought it was cheese. Because, <laughs> you know, Twitch. Why not? Irving was mean when he was a child, but back then... He 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 he... Wait, back then what? I want to know. What's wrong? Well, he told me he'd marry me if I could master Concerto Number no. 4 Winter from The Four Seasons. So I practiced very hard, now I'm good at it. Well, he, well, he said master. Once Irving listens to the song, you'll, we'll be officially engaged. Is that is that how marriage works? Yay, stinky cheese, and he's so cute. He's an uwu cheese. Or an owo, one of those. Huh? After listening to a song, and officially engaged, y'all are nuts! I'm out of here! Uh-uh! You said you were his fiance last night! Are you saying that was... a lie? It's as good as an engagement, right? We made a promise! That was if you could play the peace, peace well. Plus, it was just a childhood promise. We all... We know all about people who make childhood promises, don't we, Josh? Involving maids. I wonder if Mr. Irving thinks that he is engaged with Miss Lila. Miss Lisa. Did they change her name? I don't have time to chat. No, her name is definitely Layla or Lila. They just said it wrong. I have to practice now. I still have time. Irving and I have a meeting arrangement. Miss Layla took out the violin and placed the bow on it. Oh! At that moment, one of the st violin strings broke. Uh, is that the time for this? I need to restring this. She fetched a bag from the wardrobe and began to rummage through it. Huh? What is this? Is something wrong? <laughs> Someone put a dead rat in here. <laughs> the string is missing. I had an extra string here inside this pouch. Oh. It's covered in anthrax. <laughs> she died in minutes. The paper bag that Layla showed me was indeed empty, except for the meth all over it. The cocaine that she's been doing <laughs> ever since she got here. Where did it go? Ah, uh, I know. You stole it. Exactly why would I steal a friggin' violin string? I stole the string? Me? Are you out of your friggin' mind? No, it wasn't me. I didn't do anything. But there isn't anywhere else here until anyone else here until I came along. It was you alone. If you didn't steal it, then explain why it's missing. Why do I need to explain that? Y'all are nuts. Yeah, why wouldn't I want some random string in a in a gross dusty envelope? What should I do? Investigate the situation. Plead my innocence. I'll save. Oh god, what did I do? Oh, I hit help. I don't need help. I know what I'm doing. I'm a master investigating string disappearances. <laughs> I'm gonna investigate the situation. Even if I say I didn't steal it, you won't believe me. First, let me check the situation. Maybe I'll learn something. May I see the pouch, please? Sure. Aha! It's covered in powdered sugar. 
This is the easiest game ever. <laughs> yeah, we investigate murder for a living. The murder of your violin. Are you playing it? Because you suck at it. <laughs> oh. What I'm most interested in is... The pouch itself. The pouch is covered in whitish powder. What is this powder? <laughs> oh, it's a, a, a face powder. Yeah. I spilled it in all the bag this morning. I didn't know it got all over the pouch, too. God, I thought I put it all in my nose and gums. <laughs> What do you say this morning? Exactly when was it? What do you mean? What are you questioning me? Well, after going for a walk with my mother before I went to breakfast. I see. Saved face powder in memory. The pouch is covered in... Oh, wait. I already saw that. The seal. The seal's pouch has been broken. When was the seal broken? It wasn't open last night when I checked it before bed. I haven't checked it since, though. Do you think someone stole it to, like, strangle somebody to death with? They're gonna use it as, like, a garrot wire? <laughs> oh my god, did Louisa steal it? You know what? I wouldn't put it past her, to be honest. <laughs> I feel like she's a little, um... A little out there. Maybe she's the culprit. I'm just gonna suspect everybody from now on. So, did the culprit open it when stealing the string? Save string pouch to memory. Ah, oh, the pattern. Huh? Is this a fingerprint? No. Something that looks like a fingerprint has been left on the pouch flap. Ms. Leda, did you touch the pouch here? No, I didn't. Oh yeah, she's wearing gloves. Then that means that someone touched the flap after breaking the pouch seal. And the face powder was spilled immediately after that, I guess. I read about fingerprint collection in a novel before. When you touch things... I, I need a drink. Ugh. The culprit was Von Karma. <laughs> what would he want with a string? When you touch things, oil from your fingers remains in the form of a fingerprint. And you can collect those prints by applying fine powder. This fingerprint may have remained here in the same way. I think I understand the situation pretty well. Maybe I can prove that I didn't do anything. Including clean. Da, 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 da. Ms. Leila, I'm not the culprit here. It would have been impossible for me to steal the string. Impossible? What do you mean? First, the time when the string was stolen was... Uh... She spilled it before going to breakfast. Alright. Was... Before go... No, during the walk. After... I don't know. The dev really should have looped the music or something? <laughs> yeah, it's a little weird. A little jarring. I have no idea what the answer is. The string was stolen this morning while you were going for a walk. When I was going for a walk, it was still in debt early. Yes! You seem to suspect me because I was here by myself the whole time before you came. But if the string was stolen before that, would that convince you of my innocence? How do you know that it was stolen before I was out on my walk? Prove it. Well, the evidence is right here on the pouch. The evidence on the pouch is... Uh... Base powder? Right, because it has to have been opened before she spilled the powder. The powder itself can be the proof that the string was stolen while you were out on your walk. What do you mean? I don't understand. I'm rich, you know. I'm not paid to think. <laughs> My evidence is I didn't do it. Good enough. The face powder alone may not be so convincing. Oh god, no. 
I've taken psychic damage. There should be evidence. Uh, yes. Let me think again. It's the... The opening? There's some powder on the pouch flap where the seal was broken, right? That means the seal was already broken before the powder was even spilled. Ah, uh, that's why you think it was still in during my walk? Yes, you say you spilled the face powder after your walk. And the string was still in the pouch last night before bed. If the copper was aiming for your absence, then the string was stolen during the walk. I see, I think so too. You didn't <laughs> you didn't tell me anything I didn't already know. I'm smarter than that. <laughs> if you lose, we go to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> it's secretly not dying, guys. It's just being transferred to a different dimension. Are you convinced that I'm not the culprit? <laughs> yes, I believe you. You should thank me. Wait. Why should I thank you? Oh, um, thank you very much for not suspecting me of a crime I didn't commit. I wonder who stole it. I can't play like this. Uh, may I borrow the pouch that had the string in it? <laughs> not because I don't care about the white powder on it. Uh, I'm going to look for the culprit. You're going to look for the culprit? Well, sure. I won't get my hopes up, though. Still, let me know if you find anything. Yes, excuse me. I left Miss Lady's room holding the pouch. Let's go to the kitchen and interrogate everybody. <laughs> you arrogant little... Exactly. Is the kitchen? I went to the kitchen. I heard... Oh, when I went to the kitchen, I heard something get knocked over. Eh! You... <laughs> Stop it, get out of here. What are you doing? We'll never get things ready in time at this rate. I'm sorry. You can't see well with that long fringe. Surely you should cut it. Uh, I feel like they've got it. Their, their voices are too similar. Uh, hmm. Um, yes, you're right. <laughs> Totally great. Great, great. Good, good, good going, me. I told you before, right? So why haven't you cut it? Seems to be a pretty tense situation. I should. <laughs> you don't get a choice. Yeah, she is very klutzy. Um, can I ask you something, Louisa? Why are you being a jerk to the little kid? I quickly called out before she could fly into a rage. Jeez. Ellie, what? Uh, er, oh, right. Did you get what Mr. William was talking about before? Something about debt? <laughs> well, yeah. Do you want to know? Yeah, can you tell me? What should I do? What? It, Louisa is asking me what she should do? I guess I'll save it. It's our choice what Louisa does. Beg. Can you tell me about that, please? Hey, you wanna know that badly, huh? What to do, what to do? What should I do? Beg some more. I guess ask others. I see. Then I'll ask other people. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? If you're gonna ask someone, ask me. Well, okay. I should ask about... William. Mr. William is a traitor in London. That's probably the reason for the debt he was talking about before, I guess. A traitor? Really? He's gonna go to prison for that. He sold us out to the Germans? Before coming from such a rich family, I figured money would never be an issue. You don't know anything. <laughs> That's all, you just don't know anything. Mr. William is a second son, right? That means he has no stake in the family estate. Usually the eldest son takes over everything. I see. Even a son can walk away with nothing. Right. When the previous predecessor, Mr. William's father, passed away, he didn't get even one pound. Wow. Not even one pound. Mr. William will not inherit anything unless the head of the house dies. But you know, we're working on it. Louisa is very strange. 
Hopefully not the murderer, but who can say? Does that mean if Mr. Irving dies, then Mr. William can inherit the property? In terms of murder, this is super exciting, huh? In terms of word of inheritance, then yes, on paper. But this time, there, there's that mysterious will, so I don't know what will happen. Does that mean Mr. William has a motive for killing Mr. Irving? What should I ask about? About Grace. Speaking of which, Miss Grace refused to lend money to Mr. William because she needs it herself. All right, for her husband's political activities. Political activities? Is Miss, Miss, Mrs. Grace's husband a politician or something? Yep, the oldest son of a baron's family. Took the title and recently became a member of the House of Lords. Used to be a diplomat and traveled abroad. Why do we care? He's a loser. <laughs> oh, he must be an admirable person, I, I guess. I guess Miss Grace needs the power of the Roquefort family to support her husband. Hmm. This is sounding even more like Umineko, isn't it? I wonder if they're ripping that game off. Although she is a member of the Roquefort family, I guess things just work out better if Ms. Layla marries the Lord. The marriage is to truly strengthen the Roquefort family, as well as her own, she said. Rock solid, she said. <laughs> That's why Ms. Grace is pushing this. I wonder what er Mr. Irving thinks about the marriage. He seemed to really not care. <laughs> It's not here either. What should we do? At that time, Mr. Jack came into the kitchen complaining. <laughs> What's wrong, you big baby? Well, the pheasant I was thinking of preparing is gone from the pantry. The pheasant? Yeah, I wonder if a rat got to it. <laughs> a rat named Louisa. <laughs> I was thinking about making it the main dish for lunch. I'm really counting on the spoils from the hunt now. Let's pray to God that we get some. A stolen pheasant is Layla's missing violin string. What's going on? Someone is... Someone is making a pheasant instrument. Saved pheasant in memory. Alright, um... I guess to the terrace since we were just at the kitchen. Jack and I have some of that food. No. You could starve. Eat your cheese. Eat your yummy, um, yummy bizarre snacks. What? This is the terrace? Wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought they were saying this. I'm like, do they know what a terrace is? A terrace is not on the ground. When I went to the entrance of the terrace, I saw Mr. Irving and Ms. Leda standing before the rose garden. Oh, that's right. They made plans to meet each other here. What should I do? Obviously eavesdrop. Yeah, nice flower. They're like huge. For some reason. Oh no, I've been sinking down. There we go. <laughs> I'm back. Oh yeah, weren't they hunting? What are they talking about? I really want to know. I cupped my ear against the glass doors, and their voices floated through the gap. Am I wrong? I, I'm i fairly certain a terrace is not on the ground level. Or even if it is, it's like, um... It's kind of like a deck, right? I'm sorry, Irving. I wanted you to listen to my violin, but I don't think I can now. One of the strings is broken. Oh, you wanted me to hear you play. That's why you called me here. Disgusting. I'm going back inside. What a waste of time. Ask yes, poor Louisa be extra nosy. You looked down at me after what happened last night, so I wanted to cheer you up. So that's why? You think, Layla? Oh, thank you, Layla. Your feelings are enough. No, it's, no, it's not only that. I wanted to fulfill our promise today. Promise? You promised that when I mastered Concerto Number no. 4 Winter from the Four Seasons, we will get married. When did I make that promise? When we were 10 years old, you don't remember. 
You don't remember your promise from 10 years ago? Oh God, <laughs> what have I done? At all? You didn't, I didn't know you're one of those people who made promises when they had no intention of keeping them even though you were definitely a child. I, I'm sorry, you can hate me if you'd like. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm gonna change my mind, of course. I wouldn't blame you if you did. <laughs> Look at her freaking eyes! Oh, she's gonna straight murder him right now. I see. Goodbye. Miss Layla muttered those words quietly in a voice so different from her usual light, breathy tone. Oh. I say goodbye. <laughs> like, like that? She turned away from Mr. Irving and left the garden from another exit. What should I do? Always gotta save. Because I don't know when they're gonna, like, force me to lose. Uh, let's talk to him. We gotta cheer him up. We gotta tell him up about all the people who want to kill him. Oh, snap, she's mad. Yep. Well, you probably would be, too, if you were turned down for marriage after, like, struggling for ten years to be good at something. So you could get married. Maybe I should talk to him. I opened the glass door and walked out to Mr. Irving. <laughs> hey, Lee. I'm sorry, but I ever heard you two talking. And I know I'm being impertinent by saying so, but I don't think you're at fault. She's being kind of a jerk. People often forget things that they had said or done in their childhood all the time. Thank you, but I do feel that I've treated Layla badly. I don't think my words are much comfort to him. <laughs> Probably should have stayed inside, minding my own business. I balanced when he left the garden. At least it didn't make me lose. Ellie, have you seen Mr. Maurice? As I crossed the hall, Ms. Noel called out to me. No, I haven't seen him since breakfast. I see. Can you go find him? <laughs> Does he actually like her? I don't... I don't know. You mean the maid or the other girl? I have no clue. I don't think he does. I don't think he likes his cousin. I see. Can you go find him? When you see him, tell him we're almost done with the preparations for the hunt. Understood. Let's go find Mr. Maurice. Where is he? Can you find him on this map? Where is Mr. Maurice? What? You gotta say it louder. That's right. He's in the Lord's room, setting up the next murder. Let's go find him. I was right. <laughs> What a good guess. I spotted Mr. Maurice right away. He was walking towards me, knife in hand. Yeah, Maurice, can you stop being suspicious for five minutes? Ah, uh, where could it be? My knife. My poison knife. The knife that's cho chosen specifically to kill the master. Where could I put it? Mr. Maurice, Mrs. Noel was looking for you. No, Noel. Noel was? Yes, she said the preparations for the hunt are nearly complete. But well, I thought they left already, did they not? Oh, I see. I'll go down now. Perhaps I can look for the rifle later. <laughs> did I mention I'm gonna totally murder him? A rifle? For the hunt? Yeah. Yeah, sure. For the hunt. Hunting. Irving. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not for today. To tell you the truth, the hunting rifle has been gone missing from the predecessor's room. So I've been looking for it. The predecessor's rifle? Was it taken by someone? What do you think? It, it got up and walked out on its own? Yes, it was taken by somebody. God, why do we hire you? Yes, I believe so. A box of bullets is missing as well. But the room was locked up tight. I have no idea who could have stolen it. Only a witch could have gotten through there with magic. All the rifles that will be used today were cleaned and prepared in advance. There's no reason for someone to take it out of its case. It hasn't been cleaned in a long time. That's true. So why? 
Hey, what do you mean it's true? How would you know that? Hello, Sundori. How are you doing? Welcome. Glad to see you. I have been telling people we will be collabing tomorrow. <laughs> Although, I guess I didn't reconfirm that with you, so hopefully we're still doing that. There she is. There's Sundori. Go check her out. Shout out right there. Sounds good. Awesome. So, we will be playing... Uh, Valorant at 1 a.m. Eastern Time on this channel. She'll be over there. I'm glad you could come watch. You're doing mostly well. If you feel like talking about it, you're welcome to. Chat is a good place to vent if you need to. I definitely welcome uh, if people are having a bad day. They are free to talk about it in chat. Oh, your VC face is freaking out and you couldn't stream? Oh, I'm sorry. If you ever need help, um... I'm kind of pretty good with stuff like that. Your model is twitching and shaking. I can't figure out why. Hmm. Nyx had that problem earlier. I could maybe help you with it. Yeah. And if you ever want any customizations like I did for Gantz, you can let me know too. Oh, do you know Nyux? Is he in here? Oh, you can message him if he had the same issue. Oh, did he? I had no idea. Oh no, sorry. Um, Nyx, my my wife. Uh, sweet Nyx plays. He just debuted today. <laughs> Nebu, you know what to do. <laughs> She'll be streaming again. But oh, we will both be streaming actually tomorrow at 7 Eastern. We're playing Danganronpa. Yeah! Thanks, thanks, Nebu Pukins. If you want to check her out, there she is. New, so a little jank, but <laughs> very excited. Uh, yeah, if you're, um. I don't know if you'll still be awake, but if you are, you can message me on Discord. And I'll try to help you out. If not, um, obviously we'll try to help fix that before tomorrow. You are welcome. This is the third incident of theft we've had today. There was a violin string, a whole pheasant, and now a rifle. What is going on? Friggin' MacGyver's up here. <laughs> What's he doing? What's he... What is somebody building out of a, a violin string, a pheasant, and a rifle? A very complicated way of murdering somebody, maybe? Something sinister seemed to be brewing in the shadows, and it made me feel quite anxious. When I went to the garden to find after Mr. Maurice, there were many tables lined up. Beer pong! <laughs> wow, this looks amazing! It's like we're gonna have a party. <laughs> You're not gonna have a party. You're the help. <laughs> you ain't getting anything. <laughs> the A team is gonna make something great. Yeah, where's Doc? He he'll definitely be able to whip something up. Was it? Was it? Was it Doc? Wait. Who was the one who could do like all the the machine stuff? I forget. I don't think it, uh, Doc was the one with the um, like the cigar guy, right? <laughs> It's been so long since I watched that show. Ellie! Ellie, everyone is gonna have lunch here after the hunt. Mr. Jack is cooking up a real storm. He'll roast whatever they kill during the hunt and serve it up as the main dish. That's lavish, but that's what's expected from nobles. I strolled around, taking everything in, completely ignoring my maidly duties. Then my leg hit something! God, it's broken! Jesus Christ! <laughs> huh? Ah, don't kick it! Lisa came up to me shouting, <laughs> like always. I'm sorry, is this a box? I looked down and saw indeed it was a small black box. It's been placed near the edge of the picnic basket, alongside the gun cases and other hunting items. Oh, they're gonna play that 
that carnival game where you throw a little sandbag in there. It's a lottery box, so his lordship and his guests can decide which ground to go to by chance. Which one is the ultimate lucky student? I see! Did you put the tickets in already? Are you cheating? Yep, each one has either north, east, south, or west on it. At least you haven't broken my box. I made it after all, so be careful with it. North, east, south, or west? That's kind of a weird way to say that, isn't it? Isn't it usually north, south, east, west? Like you do up, down, left, right? Maybe that's just me. Okay, I'm really sorry. Jeez. This lady. Saved lottery to, lottery to memory. We've been saving a lot of things to memory with, like, nothing to really do with it. I guess this will all come together later. At the class trial. I looked around again. I saw Mr. William and Miss, Mr. Ewin, Ewan in the corner of the garden. So I just used this rifle? Oh yes, you held it like... Huh, you already know. Perfect. You can practice by yourself for a while. Just like take pot shots at the house. No one cares. The only two who were missing for the party were Mr. Irving and Ms. Layla. Ah. Ms. Irving suddenly appeared in the doorway. Ms. Grace following closely behind. Only you, aunt? Yes. Layla is not coming, you dick. <laughs> I see. Ms. Grace looked a little scary. Maybe she is upset with something? Pretty sure it was Mr. T. <laughs> Wait, or did they invent in inventing stuff? That was that other guy with the baseball cap, right? Oh, it must have something to do with La Miss Layla. Probably. Now that everyone is here, let's draw lots. Is this the lottery box? Mr. Williams seemed to ignore, ignore Mrs. Grace's grumpy demeanor and called out to the rest of the hunting party. Ladies first, dear sister, draw one. South. Go ahead. I don't know this place at all, so it really doesn't matter much, but it says West. What does that mean? Is that... What is West? Did I mention I was poor? Now I'll draw North. Now Irving. Oh, I already know there's no need to draw. It'll be East. Oh, true. Wait, why would he know that already? Oh, Hannibal was the pilot driver and face was the master of disguise huh wait there wasn't what am i thinking of that had doc in it wasn't there a doc am i thinking of a different show oh oh i might be thinking of um airwolf <laughs> you ever seen the, the opening intro to airwolf it's awesome it has such a cool song it's got, a, it's got a helicopter flying around. Oh man, I, I think I saw that when I was like six years old. So cool. So you should go check that out if you have never seen it. Airwolf intro. Awesome. Updated lottery. So they're cheating? Let's begin. Are we ready? After two hours, you will hear the sound of a gong. That is the signal to return here. If you dally, you get shot. Understood? With that, the participants took a hold of their rifles and went into the woods. Oh, Murdoch, a.k.a. Doc, was the leader and war vet. Oh, okay. So, it was, so it's Hannibal that we're thinking of. I didn't remember that name at all. Will everything really be all right? Nope, they're gonna die. As I watched Mr. Irving's retreating figure, I unconsciously clenched my hand to my chest in worry. Miss Grace seemed angry with Mr. Irving. Mr. Williams seems to be having money troubles, so he might do anything to get his hands on the estate's fortune. I don't know about Mr. Ewins. I have no idea what he could do. 
Ellie, are you okay? You look pale. That's just how I look. How rude. While I was musing over these thoughts, Natalie had come up to me, her face wearing a look of worry. Oh yeah, I'm okay. Let me just crank the song back up. Thank you. Oh no, I'm the one who must be thanking you. But I wasn't able to earlier. Huh? Did I, did I do something? Yes, you defended me when Louisa got angry about my hair, remember? <laughs> Look, just don't... Just don't worry about her, okay? Just... Just forget about Louisa. Eh, don't trouble yourself. It wasn't much of a defense anyway. Even so, she shouldn't have told you to cut your hair. It looks so cute. I'm so happy. You think so. As Natalie smiled, Mr. Maurice beckoned to her. Natalie, come here. Yes, what can I do for you? I want you to take this to Mr. Charles. I think he'll be in his hut by now. Wait, who the heck is Mr. Charles and why does he have a hut? Hey, Mr. Charles, um, who is that? Ah, uh, is that a problem? No, nothing, I'll take it. Mr. Maurice then gave Natalie a basket containing a bottle of wine and cheese. No, don't do it. It's poisoned. Also, that's not cheese. That's a card from soccer. Wait a minute. Mr. Well stopped. Natalie was about to walk off. Yes. I don't want you going alone. Oh, <laughs> I was uh, accidentally giving him <laughs> Irving's voice. I don't want you going alone. It's dangerous. Someone should go with... Ah, Ellie. Would you please go with her? Is it because Natalie is an apprentice? What should I do? Nah, I don't think so. You can't, you don't control me. Mr. Irving's voice is never a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, but I really like her doing her voice too. I, I, and she's not been around much. Maybe I should give someone else that voice just so I can do it more. Is that William's last name? Uh, wait, William Charles? I mean, I guess that's not that unusual. What should we do? I don't know, but it's been two hours, so I'm gonna take a small break. Um, just about five minutes. I just need to get some more beverage and other hydration related things. I'll be back very soon. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you're still going to get back. If not, thanks for being here. Alright, be right back.
Hello, I'm back. Hello, Fluffy, welcome. I'm glad you could make it. I'm sorry you missed the notification. Uh, clearly we gotta just go with her because <laughs> I think we'll just straight up get fired if we don't. Yeah, you spawned over the break. <laughs> You've been here the whole time. Uh, let's go. Understood. Natalie, let's go. Yep, thank you. Natalie and I set foot into the woods behind the manor. Mis Mr. Charles is the one who's preparing the hunting grounds. He has been busy preparing for today. The hut is just ahead of here. Ah, you've been here before, have you? You seem like you know way around. <laughs> just what a murderer would do. May not be able to watch the stream because of lag? Oh no! You mean because you'll be so far behind in chat? Oh yes, I've known you for a long time. You used to play a lot me with me when I was a kid. <clears throat> You're not still a kid? Looks like a kid to me. Oh, that's right. You're from the village nearby. That's why Mr. Maurice asked you to come. So Ms. Noel wouldn't worry about us getting lost. I'd get lost for sure. Nope, this sucks. Well, bye. Alright, thanks for coming by. <clears throat> I'll see you later. Yeah, it's a little scary to go deep into the woods alone. Here, around here is okay, though. Deep into the woods? Is there something there? <laughs> yeah, the friggin' Jabberwocky. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a black dog? You mean like a Labrador? Yeah. Black dog? Um, it's an evil spirit that takes the shape of a black dog, right? And it kills people. It's, a, it's an old folktale, so I've heard the name many, many times. I've literally never heard that in my entire life. But okay. Yeah, I'm sorry it's not working, Fluffy. I'll see you again some other time. Thanks for coming by still. Bye. You could still, you could still watch. What's up to you? I respect your decision either way. Yeah, they say you used to deep prowl in these woods. A prowl deep in these woods. Really? It wasn't killing people as such. But it did target little critters like rabbits and squirrels. So you mean like a dog? Just like a regular old dog. Or a fox. Or many other <laughs> types of creatures like that. But then... Natalie pressed her hand to her forehead, her fringe flowing across it. Natalie, did you get attacked? Yeah, I covered my face like this ever since. I have some scarring. So that hairstyle was to hide her scars, not just because she wanted to look stupid and ugly. Yes, yeah, so, so the dog was just an animal being an animal. Was there really a black dog in these woods? Are you bullshitting me? That's what my father said, but I don't remember exactly what happened when I was attacked. But I do remember seeing a black dog. I see. But you said used to, so it's not there anymore? I think so, but I can't be sure. I haven't heard of any other stories of sightings or attacks. I doubt anyone would really come here knowing that such a terrifying creature lurked in the shadows of these woods. Certainly, I would be too scared to come here alone. Say, Black Dog in memory. Yeah, being chopped on the face would pretty much suck. I've been bitten on the leg and hand and arm and leg again. 
by dogs and that all was horrible. Oh, and face. Oh, yeah. Can't forget that. See, if you ever wonder why I'm not a huge fan of dogs, that's, that's all your reasons right there. Dogs do not know. Dogs do not like me. And I have a, a very bad pattern also. It's not just that dogs attacked me when I was young. It was that, uh, it was either somebody, the owner was near the dog, and they were like, Oh, it's fine, it's fine. He's, he's, oh, he's so sweet, he'll never attack anybody. And then immediately attacks me, including one that knocked me to the ground and bit my face. And other ones were just people's dogs who they don't didn't tie down or 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 keep behind a fence and just ran me down in the street, either on my bike, um, knocking me down and, and biting me, or just running up to me when I was walking. <laughs> so, did they draw blood? Um, yes, not not the one that got my face though. I don't think I was really young for that one. I was probably like five or six because it was a little dog it was like um i want to say it was like a little bit bigger than like a terrier but it knocked me down like it knocked me on my feet or not feet knocked me off my feet and it was like chomping all over my nose yeah it was people don't realize dogs can be really mean and are very strong it shouldn't just automatically be like, oh, it's fine. I don't have to watch him. I don't have to keep him on a leash. He's not going to attack that small child. Oh, God, he's attacking that small child. <laughs> we saved the black dog in memory. Yes, I do have that memory. <laughs> I see it. Ellie, that, that's Mr. Charles's hut. He just lives out here in the woods. Did somebody put a curse on you? Um, <laughs> Maybe. I got a funny story about that too. I had a weird, I had a weird childhood, to be honest. So yes, it's quite possible. I did know a um, well, not know, but had are uh, my parents <laughs> weird story time. My parents had a um, uh, hired a uh, housekeeper, and it was this like um. I I don't want to be stereotypical at all. So I'm, this is a completely true story. So I'm not I'm not trying to be insensitive or offensive to anybody. But anyway, uh, it was this Jamaican lady, and she was like, I don't know. It would not it would not be an unfair assessment to call her a voodoo lady because she very much was. I don't know. Like she would have stories about it about like putting spells on people. And stories about how, um, like, little kids who got, like, killed and then buried in the backyard. And I, I was, like, a little kid. I was, like, you know, probably, like, six or seven at the oldest. Maybe eight. But very young. Yeah, it's, it's true. <laughs> That's a real thing. And I remember one time she was, like, feeling my fingers... Like, she was holding my hand and squishing my fingers together. And she was like, oh, your bones would make great soup, wouldn't they? Like, I don't know if she just enjoyed traumatizing children? Or maybe there was something, like, actually wrong with her? Um, but my parents found out about it. And they had a big fight in our kitchen. And she was, like, going nuts. She was, like, screaming at them and banging on the, on the cabinets. Um, and then they obviously kicked her out, and they said, uh, that with it, there, there, she had a particular looking car, and they said, if you ever see that car again, and if we're not here, you call the police immediately, because, uh, I think she had kind of threatened to kidnap us, <laughs> like me and my, and my older sister. Um, would have fired her immediately? Yeah, they, I mean, they did as soon as they found out. But she was kind of keeping it a secret. She was just being really creepy on, on the DL. Um, <laughs> thankfully, I was kind of too young to really be traumatized by it. I just thought it was kind of funny. Later on, though, it's kind of terrifying looking back at that and being like, wow, she might have 
She might have legit legitimately wanted to abduct us. And it might have happened if we didn't. I think, um, I think my older sister told on her. Like, went to my parents and was like, she's saying these creepy things. Very, very weird. So anyway, that's another weird story. Yes, maybe, maybe she put a curse on me. Anyway, onward. Stick around for all kinds of other additional weird stories from, from Emmy's weird childhood. She was 31 flavors of creepy? Yes. Yes, very much that. I remember being terrified of her. Um, and my parents thought it was because, well, she was black and I said she looked weird when she came in. And they were like, you can't say that. How dare you? Apologize to her right now. And I was like, okay. I, and I apologize, but I don't think I was saying that because she was black. I was pretty sure I was saying that because she, she was dressed up strangely again not meeting anyone any feds to anyone i was only six or seven so it was weird to me to see somebody wearing like um i don't know how to put it like flashy colors and a whole bunch of huge she had huge jewelry hi sundori you started into a weird story yes <laughs> a weird true story but definitely weird and I'd kind of forgotten all about it until um, I saw my sister over... Oh, well, you, you know about... Well, some of you know about that. Josh knows about that. I went to go visit her um, a couple months ago. And she reminded me about it. She was like, oh, do you remember whatever lady? Or she knew, she knew her name. And we're talking about it. And like all these memories were coming back. And I was like, oh my God, that's... We have such weird... <laughs> we have such weird lives. I mean, every maybe everybody has weird stories like that. I don't know. Because it was normal to me at the time. I didn't think it was weird. Until recently. <laughs> when I was reminded of it. And I'm like, oh my god. Crazy. Anyway, if you want to hear the rest of that, you can watch the VOD or something. <laughs> or if you want to know more about it, please feel free to ask. Um, My life is kind of an open book. I'm not really shy about talking about pretty much anything. I looked in the direction that I looked the direction the alley was pointing, and as she described, I could see a small wooden hut. The hut is located in the middle of the hunting ground. So that means Mr. Irving is east of where we are. Let's zoom in. <laughs> Enhance. Everything is novel to kids, so they have no sense of what is or isn't weird. Yeah, exactly. And they're very easily um like disbelieved, right? Because when they were when um, when my sister was originally telling my parents about that, they were, they were like, they like, they didn't believe that at all. They're like, oh, come on. You're lying. The story was fitting for this stream. <laughs> I have no idea whether or not you're being sarcastic, but it doesn't really matter because I agree either way. I glanced in that direction and saw a walnut tree. You know, somewhere there. It's basically a jungle. I'm not being sarcastic? Cool! Or do you mean for my stream in general? Yes. I am a weird person. That must be the walnut tree Mr. Irving was talking about. The one that marks the start of the hunting ground. It stands out among the other trees. Sure. Sure it does. Sure it does. <laughs> Which one is that exactly? The one that has a tiny bit more detail? Ah! Oh shit! Is he actually there? Ah! Suddenly my vision swam. Dulled colors were made vivid as I f was forced to remember. I know! That walnut tree! It was in my dream! If my dream becomes reality, will Mr. Irving die there? Oh no, I just spilled some wine. <laughs> he just had a little spit up. <laughs> remember when he couldn't get dressed by himself? He's just like a little baby. I've been shot! Without warning, a gunshot shot rang out, abruptly pulling me back to reality. Oh. I was bleeding profusely from a giant hole in my chest. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought maybe they'd shot the kid. I was like, no, no. 
The bird that had been perched on a branch of the walnut tree suddenly dropped, disappearing from view. A bird named Mr. Irving. <laughs> eh. Ellie, what's wrong? You just stopped walking. What? You're not used to being shot at? Wow, what a privileged life you led. I need to go. I need to get to that tree. That's, you know, it's like... You could definitely yell from there. I'm sorry, can I leave you here? I know you're a child, but I'm just gonna ditch you. I need to go. Welcome, Gans. Thank you for coming by. A gear getting married again we are. Yeah! We're all getting married together. In the in the game. <laughs> I like I know what you're referring to, but I don't. <laughs> My memory is ab abysmal. But thank you for coming by. I really like your rotating um em emotes. Oh, in the game. Yeah. Oh yeah, the group marriage. <laughs> we're still gonna do that. And then the other game, we're getting zappy. Uh, eventually. When we're older. <laughs> sure, I'll be fine here, but why all of a sudden... Ah, Ellie! Before Natalie could finish speaking, I ran away from her. <laughs> puff, puff, just a little further! Dude, it's like right there. <laughs> Ah. Hey, I think that was the, the my controller vibrated. I think for the literally the first time in the whole game. Way to make use of the medium, <laughs> game developers. I stumbled on something and fell hard to the ground. Ow! What was that? Oh, just a corpse. I looked at my feet and found an old hunting rifle hidden in the grass. She must be a super slow runner, right? That's what I'm saying. Like, if she's talking about that tree. Like, you'd be, you'd be able to call to someone from there. Why is this here? Oh. The name Oliver was engraved in the metal. This must be the predecessor's stolen rifle. Well, they're definitely gonna think that you did it. <laughs> yeah, we'll now save the world. The power of friendship. And this gun I found. Don't question it. Oh, no. I know it was stolen, but I found it out here. I know I'm the maid and I have free room to access any room in the mansion and no one suspects me, but theft? Nah. Me never. Why is this here? I touched the barrel gingerly and it felt cool. You idiot! What are you doing? You literally just solved two cases that involved fingerprinting and now you're touching the barrel of a gun that's gonna be used to murder somebody? It felt cool. <laughs> I love guns. <laughs> this means it wasn't the gun they used to shoot, the, shoot the bird. If it were, it'd be much, much hotter. That bird was shot by... At that moment, I saw Mr. Irving holding a rifle heading toward the walnut tree. Hell yeah. Yeah. I love picking apart shitty crime investigations. <laughs> yeah, that's what all this game is about. It's like... It's like a murder mystery for, like, I don't know, 10-year-olds? <laughs> Gingerly touches gun. Ah, yes, the American dream. Well, you need more than that. You need, like, 12 guns. Touching a gun is, like, eh, British dream, maybe? So it was Mr. Irving who shot it. I'm sure he's off to check his prize. The barbaric shooting birds. Do I run toward him or stay put and watch? Yeah, let's just watch him get shot. Why not? We're gonna save first. All right, I want to watch him die. Let's <laughs> let's see what happens. Oh yeah, twelve guns and beer all at the same time. You could play like you throw the bottle of beer up in the air and shoot it with your gun, and then try to drink as much beer as it falls to the ground, right? That's a, that's a thing. <laughs> you had to drink the beer out of the gun. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. I guarantee you somebody has done that. 
They'd be like, look, I'm shotgunning the beer. Because <laughs> it's in a shotgun. Get it? Anything is a cup if you're fast enough. Is this the right thing to do? Is there anything dangerous around? Hmm. Think back. Was there anything dangerous? Hmm. Nah. I watched my lord from my spot, far enough the way that I wouldn't be seen. Mr. Irving made his way slowly to the base of the walnut tree. Uwa? <laughs> Is he really saying that? Uwa? <laughs> Suddenly a loud commotion and a blood curdling scream. <laughs> no! <laughs> ah, Mr. Irving! Without realizing what I was doing, I leapt, for, leaped from my hiding place. The scene I was met with was... Oh no! Exactly the same as my dream. Ah, uh, it had been a prophetic dream after all. Well, that sucks. Guess I'm out of a job. <laughs> you what, Nate? <laughs> I hadn't expected things to play out exactly as I had, had dreamed they would. Surely I could have stopped it. Wait, what do you mean you hadn't expected? Yeah, you had. That's the whole thing, is you, you have prophetic dreams, and then they come true. Yeah, okay, who is in these woods? Just pretty much everybody. His whole family. Who all want him dead. So they could take his money. If I hadn't been so close by. Oh, I had been so close by. Yet why didn't I do anything? It's almost like somebody was controlling me. Somebody outside of my... My world. I was overwhelmed with endless regret and could only wallow in my sorrow. Bad ending, regret. Oh no. That's okay, we did that on purpose. I knew he was gonna die. They're not really, um, they're not really coy with what's gonna happen in this game. <laughs> Basically, if it looks like they're gonna get killed, they are. Alright, here we go. This is only chapter two. We're not exactly steamrolling through this game. Alright, let's 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 not have him die this time. Run toward him. Tell him how much you love him. Mr. Irving! I cried out to him as I ran. Oh, that's so cute. Look at how cute she is. Uh, he's not. He's not half bad looking himself, is he? Don't stay away from there. <laughs> well, which is it? Is it don't or is it stay away? Make up your mind. Ellie, why are you here? I came to stop you. Stay away from the walnut tree. You're gonna die. <laughs> it's an ant. It's gonna smash you. <laughs> it's alive. You've seen Guardians of the Galaxy, right? It's like Groot. Die? Please, you cannot die. If you do, I... I... I'll be out of a job. Ellie, but why do you think I'm going to die? Well, I... I don't have any evidence other than I saw it in my dream. <laughs> I teleported away as quickly as possible. Oh yeah, we are holding the evidence, the gun, with which he probably gets shot. Um, let me look around for a bit. I'm sure I'll find something that'll help you understand. Alright. You believe there's some kind of trap that has been laid in order to kill me? A trap? I see. Maybe that's what it is. Oh. Wait. Why would he die then? If we found the gun... So the trap is obviously the violin wire, the pheasant, to, to make him go towards the bird he thinks that he shot, right? So he, sh who sh yeah. he shoots an already dead pheasant in the tree. And then it falls to where they want him to go and get it. And then he walks over the, the wire. And then shoots him. The gun is set up in the grass. But I already picked up the gun. So why would he get shot in this scenario? Where I, where I didn't run to him. Maybe I didn't pick up the gun. Maybe I just touched it. <laughs> Super smart. Anyway. A trap, I see. Maybe that's what it is. Oh. 
Oh, don't mind me. Yes, uh, I'd say that is my guess. All right, let's take a look around. I should tread carefully, though. This place is still very dangerous. <laughs> God, it's not what I'm drinking. <laughs> God, it's not what I'm drinking. This is America Fool. There's a bonus gun. God, I almost spit my drink everywhere. <laughs> that trap would be very specific. They would have... What would they have done if he didn't see the pheasant to fall into the trap? Um... It's a game. <laughs> You're very right. Bird! Dead leaves. It is the bird that Mr. Irving shot! It looks like it's stuck to the branch. Gross! That's a pheasant, isn't it? Huh, wait, there's something on it? Yeah, feathers? <laughs> a beak? What looked like white string was tied to the pheasant. It was fairly sturdy and long. It's almost as if the pheasant had been hanging. Like it committed suicide earlier today. It doesn't look like it became entangled here by accident. It has to be tied here on purpose. There are many dead leaves around the tree, but why would that be? Uh... Have you seen a tree before? Gonna... Gonna go out on a limb here and say maybe, maybe you're not too bright. <laughs> oh no, Defre depressed pheasant was having an unpheasant day. It's okay, you can make a pun since I just did too. We all get one. <laughs> yeah, they definitely don't want it back by now. What now? Well, maybe. They used to call strings cat gut, so. Oh, they might have literally been made out of, like, intestine or something. Anyway, the mystery of the leaves around the tree. I look closely at the leaves. Some metallic objects have been embedded in the dirt. What are they? I don't know. Look again. How do I find what they are? <laughs> Caltrops? I guess they had those back then, right? Just shoot them! Huh, what do I use? The gun? Uh, the pheasant! Someone mentioned that the pheasant... <laughs> Someone mentioned that the pheasant was stolen. Were they talking about this pheasant? Updated pheasant. <laughs> Metal Gear. Wait, bullets, blades, Metal Gear, Psycho Metal, Hoops and Dreams? It could be anything. Anything could be hiding under those leaves. What do you think it is? Everybody, make your predictions now. Update the pheasant again. Okay. Um, the rifle. This is irrelevant now. Um, the string pouch. Because it's a string. Get another gun. <laughs> There's 12 guns under there. They're all going to shoot him at once. I mean, you can't be too careful, right? You got to shoot somebody. Might as well do it like a whole bunch. It's Emmy. I am definitely not hiding under leaves. That would get all in my hair. No, gross. The underground city of mole people. Well, yeah, but you have to go pretty far for that. With guns. They were gonna shoot him. The mole people are after him. There was talk about a stolen violin string before. Is this the string in question? What do you mean there was talk? <laughs> like you overheard it. <laughs> You're literally accused of stealing it and you had to defend yourself. There was talk. 
updated string pouch in memory. I've checked all that's here. I'm curious as to what these are. The, these are among the leaves. What are they? I don't know. Grab one. It's a mine. <laughs> it's like a tank mine. It's going to explode. Ah, crap. What should I do? Sounds ominous. Well, I assume if they want Irving dead, they're just... They're just gonna still kill him if he goes over there. Sus. Among the leaves. Among us. Yeah, MC already knew this. All right, let's let's us do it. I'd rather he not die again. I touched the ground to dig out one of the buried objects. Looks like a ballpoint pen. And then. Oh shit. Eh. I felt something hit me with great force, knocking me down. It was Irving. Oh, my. Oh, it hurts. What happened? Ellie. I heard Mr. Irving's voice cry out from somewhere nearby, but I couldn't respond to him. Am I going to die? My mind became hazy. Well, you didn't dream that, did you? So much for your prophetic dreams. Yeah, it was a trap. <laughs> I think I kind of knew that, but I assumed we would be able to, like, disarm it because we got kind of knew about it already. I mean, Irving is kind of an idiot. <laughs> My guess is if he tried to go over there and disarm it, he'd just die. I guess I was wrong. With the last of my th strength, I prayed, Mr. Irving, please stay safe. Blech. Bad ending, the last prayer. Yeah, wh why didn't we just, like, pick up a big stick? Go get the gun and, like, smack it. Smack it on the ground. What do we think it was? It jumped out and killed us. Maybe it is a mine. They had mines back then, right? The walnut tree of death. <laughs> Sir Irving, that's a trap to kill you! Okay. Dies. Alright, we could do it. We can send Irving to go- Wait, why doesn't this have a red check mark? Am I supposed to use memory to do something? Let's just try this. Mr. Irving, do you know what these are? I, I pointed the objects glinting in the ground. These are bullets. Okay, okay. You know you can't really fire bullets like that, right? You can't just put them on the ground. <laughs> they, they're not just like... Waiting to attack somebody. As soon as you get close, they jump out and, and kill you. America wins again. <laughs> Every country is America. When it belongs to America. <laughs> These are bullets. Bullets? Did someone drop them, I wonder? <laughs> well, we are in America, so everyone is just loaded with bullets all the time. Just falling out of their pockets. Like lint. Nobody cares, because they're so cheap. They can just go get some more. It's like pennies. No, they are deep within the ground. I believe they have buried on purpose. On purpose? Could they have these have killed Mr. Irving in my dream? I'm still waiting for an explanation as to how that's possible. There are 12 guns <laughs> buried upright. <laughs> With the bullets sticking out the end. It, that's how guns work, right? Your Irving voice is badass, by the way. Thank you. That's what, um, Nebu Pukin said that too. That it doesn't really even sound like me. Or that it's so different that it it doesn't seem like the same person on the mic. But how could these bullets be effective if they're buried? They're useless unless they're placed in a gun, right? Thank you, Ellie. Asking the real questions here. Not necessarily. A bullet can go off if hit hard enough. Okay. So are like some grubs under the ground attacking you? And no, that's... That's not how that works. Okay, well, let's continue. 
For example, being hit by a hammer would do it, but of course, bullets are easier to control and are, f and are more stable if they're shot with a gun. Is that so? I didn't know that. Kinda sounds like you're bullshitting me right now. Please don't say yes to that. <laughs> what? Would someone stepping on a bullet be enough to set one off? No. <laughs> Hmm, I think it's possible, but... Mr. Irving suddenly took in a sharp breath of realization. He'd been shot! <laughs> it's a good voice, thank you. I've been doing it for like, uh, a couple years now. It was also my Byakuya voice. Googles this, oh, whether or not you can set off a, a bullet by stepping on it? I mean, if it was in the ground, the whole thing about a, about a bullet is the powder explodes, the force of the bullet goes forward and the force of the casing goes back into the gun in your arm. But if it was just in the ground, I feel like the ground would have to be really hard, wouldn't it? To get any kind of force. Yeah, I don't think this is true. These bullets, they were sent here so I would step on them and die. <laughs> we're definitely not dealing with an intelligent murderer. Although... He did die in that alternate reality, so I guess he's not very smart either. There's a will it blend guy done bullets. <laughs> uh, somehow I doubt that. But he should. Just for fun. Next, also, he should try like nitroglycerin just to see what happens. Will it blend? We need to know. The hammer thing seems to work. Oh, no, I, I agree with that completely. Yeah, you could smack it with a hammer. But just setting it on the ground in the dirt and stepping on it? I don't think so. That might be it. If this was a trap designed by someone to kill Mr. Irving, then... Ellie, you were exactly right. There was a trap here. I was in danger. Thank you for saving my life. Will you join me back in my manor? Ah, so it seems. I'm just glad to see that you are unhurt, my lord. Thank you, you saved me again. I don't know how to thank you. I do. Your words are enough, God damn it! I'm sure this means I was able to avoid seeing that scene I dreamed about. I'm glad that I was able to save him from such an incredibly stupid trap. You deserve a raise in my hand in marriage. And a gun. Look at all the bullets you can put in it. Perfect. Maybe that's why someone left them here. Because they knew that you would discover it. Then I would give you a gun and you would have plenty of ammunition. How heavy full of, was that he triggered bullets? I know, have you seen this guy? He's like a buck ten tops. But who? Who would create such a horrifically, poorly designed trap? I think the culprit was... I gotta pick somebody? Okay, chat, who do we think it was? Do you know any of these people? Probably not. So Grace is the his aunt. Um, the mother of the person that he forgot about, who was supposed to marry him. <laughs> America! Have you seen that, um, what is it? A Yu-Gi-Oh abridged with that American guy? Who's like, I'm an American from America. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was quoting to you before. Like when I was watching your stream, when he's like, every country belongs to America. Yeah, Keith. <laughs> Uh, Layla is, yeah, is her, is her daughter, the person who we kind of rejected. William is our uncle? Yeah, I think that's our uncle, who is obviously having money problems. And Ewan is maybe our brother, but we don't know. The stranger just kind of showed up. And he was also asking us how much the furniture is worth. You're going to say, William, albeit I got here way at the end. Oh, 
Need more beverage. Ugh. <laughs> People say fire at will. All right. You win or William. That's that's good. That's good enough for me. Two votes for William, even though one of them was kind of a joke. Anyone might have a grudge. Oh yeah, but not, but probably not against Mr. Irving Irving in particular. Mr. Irving, I would like to speak with Mr. William. Is that all right? <laughs> this is her um. This is her Phoenix Wright face. With my uncle. I have many questions to ask. I see. All right, of course, I'll come with you. So, Mr. Irving and I went to the area where Mr. William had been hunting. Oh, God, what was his voice again? Um... <laughs> Irving, what's wrong? Noticing us, Mr. William lowered his rifle and walked toward us. My maid wants to ask you some questions. Would you mind humoring her? Now I know it's kind of ridiculous having to answer questions from a maid, but it's kind of like a party game. Just go along with it, really. <laughs> maid, oh you. Sure, what is it? I'd be happy to answer questions about my kills. <laughs> this... D <laughs> yeah, sure, buddy. Who is this? <laughs> this is a uh, sur surfer dude, William. Bum, bum, bum. This sounds like Metal Gear music. How is his uncle looking younger than him? True story. Another cool story. Not not really a story, but um, I am and what what are we gonna call it? An an ant cool. <laughs> I let's just put it this way. I have nieces and nephews. Many, uh, thirteen, I think, or fourteen. And true fact, the oldest one is only four years um, younger than I am. And I also have a younger sister who is only one year younger than they are. So, the, my younger sister is an is an aunt to a niece that is only one year older than she is. Because my brother is much older than we are. <laughs> if this if the trap was set up at the walnut tree, it, wait. If the trap set at the walnut tree, comma, was truly set up to kill Mr. Irving, then the culprit would have had to make sure. He was in the correct area. Feels like budget knockoff Phoenix, right? Basically. Oh God, he is, he has his defenses. He's got so many roses. In other words, the culprit is whoever sent him there. I must prove that it was Mr. Williams doing. Did, it, did we guess right? What should I select? Uh, I don't, I don't know. Oh, the, the lottery. He knew. He knew that we were going east. It looked like Mr. Irving had no choice but to go to the eastern area after the results of the lottery. But that wasn't the case, was it? You fixed it so he'd have to go. What are you saying? Is that what you wanted to ask? <laughs> I'm here now. Would you please answer her, Uncle? Irving, all right, if you say so. Mr. William reluctantly faced me. I, I've, I've damaged him already, sweet. That was really easy. You're trying to say that I somehow forced Irving to draw the East ticket, am I right? You sure have quite the imagination. I would love for you to tell me exactly how I would have been able to pull that off. Mr. William must have manipulated the lottery. Did you do that? He must have. 
been the ultimate lucky student. <laughs> not cool, bro. Totally not radical. Right? Rock on, but in a way that's not cool. Yeah, what a weird power dynamic. Right? He's like bossing his uncle around. He's like, come on, uncle. Answer questions of my maid. <laughs> A manipulated the drawing order. No, he replaced the tickets? No. He tampered with the lottery box. I mean, how would I know? Do we have any reason that we would know this? Grace went. Ewan went. William went. And then Irving went. Hmm. Hmm. They're all in it together! Wait. Did that work? I don't know. Um... I'm just gonna say you manipulated the drawing order? That seems like the most plausible. You manipulated the order in which the tickets were drawn, right? You held the box and encouraged everyone to draw quickly. <laughs> oh! I think it was important that you drew your ticket just before Mr. Irving. Wait! But how could I make the make Irving put the East ticket just by picking the order? It was just as likely that my sister or or for Ewan to pick the ticket before either Irving or myself. Huh. I believe that the East ticket had been removed before the lottery took place to avoid that situation. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's like a trick box that only releases East when you want it to. Some cool electronics jammed in there for the 1920s. The lottery box had been sitting near the other supplies in the corner of the garden. You could very easily steal the tickets without anyone realizing. Well, I don't know. Could he? Louisa was kind of watching that thing like a hawk. I mean, we bumped into it. She was like, get the hell away from my box. What are you doing? I slaved all day over that. Then you have the first two people draw normally. With East not in the box. Then we turn the ticket to the box when it was your turn to draw. Yeah, yeah, we, we got it. You don't really need to explain that. This would then force Mr. Irving to draw in the East ticket. How does that sound? <laughs> well, whoever came up with that idea is pretty smart. His reaction, I think I was right. Damn. So he was the one trying to murder? Murder Irving? Oh, we still got a lot to go. And then, why did I apparently want Irving to go to the eastern area so much? There were several bullets embedded under the walnut tree. I think he wanted to stand underneath it. Uh, yeah, and so, what would happen then exactly? Bullets, seriously? You wanted Mr. Irving to step on them, right? What, what do you mean, like, how, how if you step on Lego, it like hurts? But he's wearing shoes. I didn't, I didn't really get your line of reasoning. <laughs> I'm a genius. <laughs> yeah, Louisa is not that bright and mediocre at her job and breaks things and is lazy and a gossip. How tense is Irving for this to work? <laughs> oh, oh, you'd be surprised. <laughs> You must have incredible. Some, you must think I have some incredibly dangerous ideas. What should I say? Dangerous? Excuse me, princess. Or I don't think that. I don't know. Um. Can I save in the middle of this? What? Well, that feels like cheating, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Interrogation. <laughs> the man wears hammers for shoes. <laughs> you look down at his feet. You're like, wait a minute. What, Irving? What the what the fuck is on your feet? <laughs> oh, you mean my hammer shoes? Oh, they've been running the family for years. What 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 do you wear? Cloth? Ooh. <laughs> but what happens when you step on bullets? They don't go off. Oh. He just deep throats the bullets, assuming they're candy. Well, if he's that dumb, I think he probably just deserves to die. 
Um, what did he say? I must think I have some incredibly dangerous ideas. Uh, dangerous? Why would it be so dangerous to step on bullets? Yeah, it, exactly. Uh, well, because you could die, obviously. Bullets can be set up by stepping on them. Right? right? Can't they? Oh, I see. He is the one who came up with a trap after all. However, that was an odd choice for a trap in such a wide area. I know I wouldn't do it like that. <laughs> Let me explain how I would kill my my nephew. I was gonna murder him. How would I know Irving would go to that to the setup area? Mr. Irving told me about that walnut tree as a landmark for the hunting grounds. I'm sure that because he was in the area, he would look for that tree to get his bearings. You're right. I did that. I did see that walnut tree. Then I walked towards it. Just, you know, drawn to it. Something about it. Beautiful. It's such incriminating dialogue. Oh, no, he definitely did it. I mean, this story is for, like, ten-year-olds, so... Or eight-year-olds. Somebody r significantly younger than we are. <laughs> ah! This is less of a trap and more an exercise in natural selection. <laughs> I'm glad I, to have you in the chat, guys. You're hilarious. The reason Mr. Irving walked to that tree was... The black dog. The pheasant. There was a pheasant tied to the walnut tree. And I believe it was placed there to draw Mr. Irving. There. He can't help but walk towards dead animals. Yeah, he told on himself. <laughs> If you kill something, you have to go and retrieve it. That's the law. The pheasant was probably the one that had been stolen and been tied to the branches using the stolen violin string. I know, like... Couldn't they find string anywhere else? Like, you don't need to steal somebody's violin string. You can literally use, like, twine. <laughs> What a story, Mark. <laughs> Mr. William, what exactly is funny about the... <laughs> the almost murder of your nephew? Okay, okay, I see. I can't underestimate you. Are you gonna know that I tried to kill him? <laughs> that dude bro laughed. <laughs> Mr. William's face contorted as he forced out this laugh. <laughs> And his eyes glared at me intimidatingly. However, how can you say all this? You're, you've based this accusation on a lottery with no real evidence. I almost feel sorry for the real culprit, whoever they are. <laughs> You're saying that you know the true culprit? Yes, I can think of one person. You should think harder. I'm pretty sure that Mr. William is behind this attempt. Is he trying to push the blame onto somebody else? The person Mr. Williams trying to blame is... Uh... Well, not obviously not Oliver, because he's dead. <laughs> Oliver! <laughs> His name's on the gun. <laughs> you basically admitted it to a Mr. Clown Shoes. Alright, what well, are we going to say Oliver? Because his name's on the gun? I mean, I think he's actually going to blame Ewan. Doesn't matter. We'll say Oliver. We have plenty of life. The evidence that shows he's planning to jam this person is... The gun. Is Mr. Oliver the one you... Whom you believe is the true culprit? What? You were right. He is blaming it on the dead man. It's the perfect crime. Oh my god. You're too smart for this game. <laughs> Get off the stream. You gotta spoil it for everybody. <laughs> Literally a genius. <laughs> yes, you heard his words during the seance, right? My brother Irving... Uh, my brother wanted Irving to be eliminated. I see. That's why this rifle was placed close to the trap. 
because you wanted to place blame on Mr. Oliver. Yeah, not because the thing that I said with tying the twine or whatever to a, to a thing that would set off the gun is actually much smarter than putting a bunch of bullets in the dirt and hoping somebody steps on them. <laughs> I advise you started streaming this three hours ago and I'm here for like 20 minutes. Very complex mystery. Yes, indeed. Ha! Uh Aha! -huh. You already found the rifle. Ha! Huh. You thought if you could make it look like Mr. Irving had been shot by Mr. Oliver's rifle, then everyone would assume that it was Mr. Oliver that killed him, right? But you do know he's dead, right? Did you forget that? Quite obviously, anyone who saw that rifle nearby would have thought my brother killed his only son, especially after that seance. So yeah, that's why I did it. Mr. Williams' plan was to blame a spirit. Yeah, that's, that sounds about right for this guy. I mean, you put the bullets in the dirt. Sorry, I can't get over that. <laughs> but with all this blaming others or faking lotteries, you did... You really don't think I'm the person... You really don't think I'm behind all this dune. Space, space, T, you. Now the spirit of America. He actually looks like Keith, doesn't he? This is Keith. We know it now. He's just Keith in disguise. If you continue this line of questioning without showing me undeniable evidence, I will think of it as an insult to America. Think carefully before you speak. No one insults Lady Liberty. Evidence? I think there's something I can use. But if I'm wrong, then he will say that I'm insulting him, I'm sure. <laughs> insulting him? <laughs> Why? You've been accusing him of murder for the last ten minutes. Why are you now worried about insulting him? If a maid like me makes Mr. Mi Mr. William angry, I can't imagine what horrible things will happen later. Jesus Christ. <laughs> But if I don't make things clear now, I don't know what happened to Mr. Irving. If I step on something dumb and get killed, I must uncover the truth, make Mr. William confess, and protect Mr. Irving at all costs. Look at this. This is new. Ta-ta! A showdown. You are the person who tried to kill Mr. Irving, and I can prove it with undeniable evidence. <laughs> Did you prove it? Killer is you. Oh, now you've gone and said it. You've gone and said it now. Show me your evidence. The evidence is the fingerprint. You fool. This proves that you're the culprit. Cocaine. You're high as fuck right now, aren't you? <laughs> the shadow realm must send you to the other games. Yeah, the maid is gravitating towards now insulting Mr. William rather than accusing him of murder. Is that the pouch that had the violin string in it? That is evidence. Huh. I never said there was a violin string in it, you moron! Yes, as there is a fingerprint when you open the pouch, I think it was printed when the string was stolen. Definitely, native English speakers translated this. I got my VTuber shaking. I think I'm the one on coke. <laughs> You'll be okay. Wait, I wonder if it was something like this. Oh, it it's not working. Never mind. Still, I will try to help you out with that later. Oh yeah, he's salty that he's gonna accuse of murder, huh? Is that my fingerprint? I mean, that must be someone else's fingerprint, is is what I meant to say. I'm not a killer. You're a killer. Yes! You stole the string to set the bullet trap, right? Please let me see your hands. It should be the same as with the ones here. It... It what? It should be the same as with the ones here. I didn't know it was there. Look at his eyes. He knows he's finished. <laughs> I should have been more careful.
Oh, God. Question finished. We did it. Hooray. Thank you for your help, chat. So you admit, uncle, you did everything. No, that's not right. Not everything. I was only following my brother's instructions. What? The dead guy? You're still saying that? It is true. I received a letter from Oliver. That's why I did this. A letter? You could read since when? This is it. It's postmarked from America. <laughs> Yeah, you lost toast, William. Time for your punishment! <laughs> Mr. William took an envelope out of his pocket and handed it to Mr. Irving. Uh, I wonder what it says. I don't know, I'm a maid. I can't read. I peered over the Lord's short, short, shoulder as he read the letter. You know, that's not rude. Similar writing to the message from the seance. Was this written by the same person? The letter asked for help in killing Mr. Irving. It said the entire Roquefort estate will go to Mr. William if the plot was successful. Too bad he's a friggin' idiot. He sealed the letter with a gun. From America. There were also instructions concerning the plot itself. Oh. Oh, so I guess, I guess Mr. William is not as big an idiot as whoever wrote this letter. So here's my plan. Okay, are you are you listening? Dead pheasant. Uh, violin wire. Bullets on the ground. No, hey, I come back. No, what? That's a great idea. What are you? God damn it! All right, who else? Who else? Oh, William. Oh, that guy's a moron. Hey, William, get over here. <laughs> I got a great plan for you. <laughs> you want to be rich, right? When I went back to my room after the seance, I found that letter along with Oliver's rifle and bullets. I'm not sure if it was the work of Oliver's spirit, but I understood that someone really wanted Irving dead. Irving, I don't have a grudge against you. <laughs> Even though I did just try to kill you. But if you die, this it goes to me. Going by the order of inheritance, of course. So, you know, <laughs> kind of either way. Even if the spirit didn't tell me to do it, it's still, you know... So it works out great for me. Yeah, he agreed to be a murderer because the ghost told him to do it. Did you really want the estate that badly? Yes. Yes. Oh, is it is it still for grabs? Are you saying, like, maybe you'll give it to me? Because yes, please. Well, I can kill you right now. You know, No one has to know. Actually, I would be pretty worried about that. If this were, like, a movie... That's exactly what would happen right now. It was he would pull out a gun and he'd be like, Well, you figured out my plot, didn't you, Mr. Bond? But no one is here to know that you found out the truth and now you must die. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> That's what makes these games so good. Yes, if I don't get a lot of money here, I'm done. Honestly, I was worried. But after all, I jumped on this plan out of desperation. Look at my sad, sorry face. I made up my mind when, I, my, my, yeah, when my sister refused to lend me money. Being the younger son, I have no great talents. What? What What does being younger have to do with that? This is the only way I can get myself out of that rut. Younger son? So any son who isn't the eldest not only gets no title, but also barely, they also barely get any family estate and they suck at everything that they try to do. They're talentless, worthless idiots for the rest of their lives. You've seen Metal Gear, right? <laughs> That's how it works. He just, he gets all the inferior traits because all the good traits go to the older son. Yeah, eternal jail. No, he's got his, he's got his punishment. It's punishment time. I'm gonna go back to his other voice. You'd never understand how I feel, Irving. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't. Do you think a person who has stepped out of the way is qualified to succeed the Roquefold family? I like saying that word, Roquefold. It's great. What were your thoughts on the responsibility? 
Don't tell me you thought nothing of it so long as you got your hands on the estate. Uh, please, unfortunately I have nothing to do with this house. I'm only interested in the fortune. Responsibility as the head of the family? Oh, do not make me laugh. I've never been taught such a thing. Oliver was the only... Uh, was always the one that people guided along. I was just left alone. Nobody cared if I was part of the family or not. Well, I don't think we'll ever understand each other and your circumstances were so different between us. Just try... Why well, I tried to murder you? <laughs> Irving Bonk, this man. Well, um... <laughs> I don't, I don't know if <laughs> that maybe means something different in that context. Oh, he's right. I have every reason to die. I sort of feel sorry for Mr. William. Doesn't mean we can for forgive him for what he's done, though. Let's see what else I can get him to talk about. Seems like I'll confess to anything now. What should I ask? About the attempted poisoning. Hit him with the gun. <laughs> William is not literally the worst. Louise is probably worse. What she helps try to murder somebody? Because at least William is good at hunting, right? <laughs> Louise is bad at being a maid and a murderer? Hmm. Actually, Mr. Irving's wine was poisoned last night. What? Is that true? You didn't know? Not at all. I have nothing to do with it. You wouldn't lie now after all this, surely. If so, the culprit is... So it's the work of the person who claims to be my father. Yes, I believe so. Hmm. What should I ask? Uh, the plan. Based on the contents of this so-called Mr. Oliver's letter, you did everything except get the bullets, a rifle, and the bullets. Isn't that right, Mr. William? Yeah, it was very difficult. I followed the instructions, but it was harder than. I imagined stealing the violin string and the pheasant, tying the bird to the tree, and burying the bullets. Oh, I think so, too. I'm not so much astonished as I am impressed that you were able to accomplish all that. Uh, are you really? I mean... <laughs> this is a yeah again this is an absurdly detailed but weird plan it almost feels like they set him up doesn't it like why was there just conveniently face powder sprinkled on the thing that he was gonna open to commit a murder hmm Methinks maybe Grace and or Layla. Oh, it could be Layla. She could be very um uh, angry that we're turning her down for like marriage or whatever. Scandalous. For sure. <laughs> Again, 1920s. Dialogue definitely would have said for sure. I don't know what that sound was, but... <laughs> The bullet instructions are particularly detailed. Okay, well, now they explain it. Set nails to replace, to replace firing pins and such. Okay, so now you have my attention. If, um, let's say you buried a thing of wood with nails sticking up, and then you... Put the bullets like right on top of each nail and then you bury that in another like layer of dirt you potentially i still don't think that would work but you could potentially do that mr irving muttered as he read the letter geez i thought he was like really refined yeah you need like paper tubes to set them in kind of like um like fireworks like Hanabi. <laughs> Verily, that was how it was done. Yeah, even that is not like... You probably just get shot in the foot like once. And you'd be like, good god, what the fuck is going on around here? Bullets flying out of my foot. <laughs> and the bullets were more powerful than normal. To pierce the... 
They already know. The dialogue is coming from inside the house, everybody. And the bullets were more powerful than normal to pierce the foot that steps on the bullets and shoot through the chest and head. <laughs> you could say scheming is a foot. <laughs> and chest and head, apparently. One question. You guys like cheesecake? Because I'm, I'm apparently the cook now. That's what I was going to make for dessert, but I don't know. Cheesecake's kind of rich. And it is like summer, right? Maybe cherry pie. I don't know. The plan, if successful, would have made it seem like Mr. Irving had been shot from a great distance. Is that correct? But once the site is investigated, then it's likely that the bullets on the ground will be found. I hope to avoid that by being the first on the scene. Of course, it would have been suspicious if I went alone, so it's going to take other people with me. Uh-huh. Like, it wouldn't be suspicious when you're picking up bullets off the ground. It was like a fucking mortar. <laughs> right? Just just get a mine. Way easier. Or, yeah, just shoot him directly. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of Danganronpa in a way that, like... Like, a lot of times they go way out of their way to be super convoluted. And you're like, okay, I get it. I get it for the sake of the trial. It makes it more fun. <laughs> and, but it's at least believable. <laughs> like, here it's just like... And you think that was gonna kill somebody? I, I put some arsenic in, like, a little puddle. And, and I made, um, I made him run around a lot so he would get, get really thirsty. And then he would drink from the puddle, and the arsenic would kill him. It'll totally work. I was going to remove Irving's body immediately before the site was investigated, by saying I was going to have a doctor check on him. Then I was going to sneak back to the site and remove the bullets and all the other evidence. I... I see... This guy. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, literally, this is how dumb this is. He should have just used anthrax. He'd be dead in a minute. I would pay and this is so fucking stupid. Oh, we got, we got like three full more chapters of this. I see, so no one noticed the trap on the ground. Then people may have believed that he was shot. You know, at this point, uh, anyone will believe anything. Uh, yes, yeah, that's what I even said. I was like, someone's gonna use the, the violin as like a rot wire, right? But no. Yeah, and based on the circumstances, they'd believe that my brother's rifle was used. If everyone, including myself, had an alibi at the time that Irving was shot, then my brother's spirit would have been the prime suspect, or so I thought. But everyone actually knows it was Leon, because after he died, he wrote the, the numbers 11037 on the wall behind him. So smart. I would not have thought to do that while dying. Try to blame it on the dead. I think I've heard of everything from Mr. William. We're done here. The culprit who gave those instructions is the one who who was to obtain Mr. Oliver's rifle then. Mr. Maurice told me that the rifle was placed in a locked room. But could I find the culprit just based on that? Yes, it was Beatrice. Clearly. Who else could get into the locked room but Beatrice? Maybe, maybe Gop. Maybe. If anyone has read... Has anybody read Umi Neko? Probably not. Anyway, deep cut. Umi Neko is great. <laughs> Very long, though. Well, Maurice and I have the keys to that room. Dude, you are in such denial. He's obviously trying to kill you. Okay, a VTuber murder mystery should now be fun, actually. Oh, yeah. That would be really cool. You could do, like, um... Oh, what's that game called? It's kind of like Werewolf or whatever. Or maybe maybe a game where you just come up with murder mysteries. <laughs> Witches aren't real, Baka. <laughs> exactly, they aren't. You watched it up until the point they got to the loops. Oh. You, you watched the anime, which is garbage. <laughs> I know, I did too. I watched the anime up until... The point where they were, the guy was sitting in a room, 
in a magic room after he had been murdered. So he got murdered. <laughs> and he was in a magic room with a witch. And they were watching. He was watching himself and all his family get murdered again by uh, <clears throat> magic people who, made, who were from made of spears. And they had magic swords. And he was watching all this magic happen. And then go, I will never believe that magic exists. Witches aren't real. I will never... And you're like, what? You're, you're literally watching people get murdered by magic. What the hell are you talking about? So I stopped watching. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you read it, it's, it's actually a really good story. And it kind of makes more sense in that context. The manga is amazing. I would fully endorse it. Really good, really good read. Then other families might have keys as well. Other family members. Well, there goes my theory that it's the butler. And by family, you mean all these people trying to murder you? Ooh, buddy. You got a rough week coming up. <laughs> Not me. And I don't know if my sister has one. I'll ask aunt later. Another possibility is my brother. Now, hear me out. I know. I know the dead, you know, he's dead. But seriously, though, that that letter was very convincing. I totally thought that a dead person wrote it. <laughs> what are you doing, Step Uncle? Murdering me? Yeah, you and Jit get more suspicious. I think they're all suspicious. I think they're all going to try to murder him. And then it's going to be... Me, or Louisa, or the little kid. Yeah, one of those. I think it's me or Louisa or the little kid. The spirit took the rifle out. I mean, come on. The, the burying the bullets was a stretch, but... Like I mentioned, I don't really believe in spirits. It is a possibility, though. Ah, uh, sure, buddy. If that's the case, do you have any idea? Irving. An idea? Do you think there'd be any reason as to why my brother, your father, wants you dead? Probably to join you in the afterlife because he's like, uh, super lonely? <laughs> Is he spirit agnostic? <laughs> do you, do you call this bullcrap? Yeah, I don't... R really? Yeah, if somebody tried to kill you, would you then stand around being like, so... Who do you think it really was? Instead of answering, Mr. Irving just averted his gaze. Does that mean that he does know why? Uh-oh. Guess he probably didn't get along with his father. He was estranged from him, right? He literally has a... Oh my god, you're right. He does literally have a gun. Dude, get out of there. Quick, what are you doing? A father killing his own son is such a horrible thing. I mean, I'm going to go out on a limb and saying, say anybody killing anybody is a horrible thing. You know, <laughs> Hit this uncle trying to kill his nephew. Also a horrible thing. <laughs> yeah, he only knows how to kill people with ground bullets. Uh, I guess it's the father's voice. I do not want Irving to be ahead of the Roquefort family. The abominable demons must be eliminated. That wasn't me talking. He just has the same voice. I remembered the words at the seance. Because it was yesterday. What happened between Mr. Irving and his father? I felt both confused and anxious about the murderous impulse, impulse that surrounded Mr. Irving as I blacked out because <laughs> I'd just been shot <laughs> by, the, by the admitted murderer who we just let stand there with a gun. Well, we're dead. To be continued. Oh, my God. Lord the Hunted. Okay, but... We should stop here. I still have like a half hour left. So what should I do instead? Because <sighs> I feel like these are pretty good. Um, they seem to be roughly three and a half hour chapters. And 
that that obviously works really well for my stream, which I try to keep to about four hours. So if anybody has something else they'd like to see me play real quick or uh, something they want to talk about, if not, I will attempt to come up with something because it is my stream and my responsibility to keep people entertained if they're here. We talking bug snacks? We could. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of that game, but I could play it. <laughs> Tell me how you'd rewrite this story. Oh, man. Okay, well. If we want to start... Oh, that does remind me. Um, so real quick. Anybody... Who in here was watching the Zappy game? Was it just Josh? Maybe I'll leave that for another time when, when um, Pookins is around. I was, I was literally going to do like a little presentation on how they could have rewritten or how they could have written the story of you, me, and her to make the main character likable. And keep all the same scenes, keep the same scenes and keep the story work the same. Just, you know, make a non-horrible jackass character. Some other day I might do that. Maybe I'll do that when I go back to the game. I'll, I'll set up a little presentation ahead of time. So, how would I make this game better? Hmm. Let's, um... We don't need the spooky music. Let's get back to the... Yeah, so a little bit of funky music. So, for a good, um, mystery like this, you first need a... Uh, a villain or a um the 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 who done it the culprit the culprit has to be somebody that um that you don't expect but makes sense in retrospect um an excellent example of this would be umineko as i pointed out before um the various higurashi stories um definitely work very well the same way. I include more stupid drafts planted in the dirt. <laughs> I mean, you could have literally like, bury a bear trap. And then... I don't know. <laughs> Step one, something smarter than putting bullets in the ground. Uh, but yeah, I'd have like, so far, I would make the murder Louisa or the little kid and then just like kind of I don't know throw you off the case the whole time while making it obvious that they're suspicious like um I was doing that a lot I don't know if, if you guys you know, I think I just asked that <laughs> if you guys watched any of the VODs of um you me and her I kept kept having these like oh i know what's happening here they she's she's killed the cat and she's feeding you she's feeding you the cat in the in the omelet and it was like no no she wasn't she was just being kind of creepy about it or like oh there she's inviting you to the play and you know, because she's she set up a slideshow of she took pictures clandestinely of her cheating with somebody else and she's gonna show it to you at the play and it's gonna make you everyone's gonna see it and you'll feel horrible and that didn't happen but i don't know i don't know how i'd rewrite it i just <laughs> make the make the make the mysteries a, a little bit smarter take inspiration from i don't know Actually clever things. <laughs> I'd make every character um a clown. <laughs> oh god, wait, no, stop. Oh, he's dying again. We can't no go away. We don't want to see that. Oh yeah, every character is a maid. What they secretly are all maids. You think that it's just you and two other maids. But then, it turns out, everybody is a maid. They were all maids in past lives. And you realize that maids are kind of like the Highlander. Has anybody heard of the Highlander? There can only be one maid 
And so, you must secretly murder off all the other maids. And once you kill a maid, then you learn the, of the, the Highlander maid thingy. <laughs> You worked once at Anime Con Ma Maid Cafe. Kind of wish I kept my cosplay. Obviously, you don't have to show anyone, but do you have pictures of that? That sounds so cute. Oh wait, never mind. I just realized you're you're a VTuber, and that's probably a really weird thing to ask somebody. Never mind. Hello, thank you, Aff Affy Joker, for the um for the follow. Welcome. I hope you enjoyed. The, the stream. This is our second stream of Gothic Murder. There should be the VOD up if you want to watch the first half. Hi. Welcome. Welcome to... Whatever the stream is. I'm your maid. Kinda. I'm also just a cosplayer. I have lots of other costumes. But mostly made because I really like this one. And I kind of get into it. There is bug snacks. This game is friggin weird. I just have mostly a bunch of fighting games. Oh, as a maid, what is your most favorite and least favorite task? Hmm. I gotta turn the music down a little bit. That's... That's distracting me. <laughs> Body horror for the win? <laughs> and funny, out of context, it's like, oh, which, which of these games is body horror? Oh, surely it's Dark Souls. Or Demon Souls? Outlast? Right? Gotta be one of those. No, it's this one. It's this one with the cute little fruit fruit monster. Body horror. Warzone? No, I suck at that. I suck at games like that. And I don't have a downloader. That would take forever. But thank you for the suggestion. I will be playing Valorant tomorrow. Um, at 1... 1 a.m. Eastern Time. Let's see. My most favorite task is... Clandestinely watching uh, Master and and getting dirt on him in order to blackmail him later into either mm, depending on how attractive they are either extorting them for money or extorting them for other things. I don't do that, but it is my favorite task. <laughs> uh, least favorite task is... Corpse disposal. You know, when you have as many clients as I've had, you know, trash is trash, right? <sighs> Nobody wants a corpse. You know, you're not doing anything with it after they're dead. You just gotta throw it away. So... So there you go. <laughs> Any other questions? Has everybody seen all my all this costume? I don't know if I've really showed it off to people that much. And before anyone asks, I did not design this. I kind of stole it. <laughs> well, not stole. I mean, I mean, I paid for it. <clears throat> but. I did do some of the colors, customizations. And I did some um, physics. I did the um, the thing up on top of my head. I did that. It was completely, you know, rock solid before. And on my, my shoulders here and the, um, the, little, the little bow, it didn't move at all either. I did all that. Swishity swooshy. Coming for that, uh... Wait, never mind. 
I just realized the only thing that rhymes with that and somewhat wholesome stream. I didn't put 18 plus on this one. Coming for that boo sheet. We, we'll go with that, yes. Oh my god, so you, cute. The swish is great. Hooray! You can kind of see my my white stockings. But not any higher than that. Again, not 18 plus stream. Not today. Although I feel my other... My... <laughs> My rainbow, um, like, goth costume was definitely more revealing than that anyway. Oh, whatever. It's all in character, right? And not till <laughs> Emmy After Dark. Hey, it's always Emmy After Dark. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I know more stuff. Let's see. Here's um this hair. I'm not sure who has seen that. I don't use it as much because it needs fixing. If you will see, uh, I, <laughs> I direct you to exhibit A. Oh, no, it's fine. Oops. Oh, it's okay now, but sometimes it gets caught, like, on the side of my head, and looks a little silly. Can you tell a joke? Oh, God. Uh... <laughs> I'm much better at telling jokes in response to playing the games. Um, hmm. I wonder if I know any off the top of my head. <laughs> Listening intently? Oh, no! Not for the joke. <laughs> now I'm on the spot. Um. Puns? No! <laughs> mom, please, I'm supporting the homies. <laughs> Call me mom again and I'll drop kick you off the next potato truck. Ooh, we got rivalry going on. Let's see, how many people have seen this? Watch this, you ready? Wait, maybe I should like duck down and do it. <laughs> this is what you didn't know about your maid. Guess what? I am a goddamn demon. <laughs> so you like anime, I love anime. What anime do you want to know about? I like 90s anime, 2000s anime, I like horror. My favorite anime of all time is Higurashi no Naku Koro ni, uh, also known as When They Cry. Yeah, Emmy Mega Evolution. I got rainbow horns, rainbow wings that kind of match too. Yeah, it's just a prank. What are you talking about? Wings? Horn? Eh? Dude, it's it's late. You might you might want to get some sleep. Are you okay? You watch Naruto now? Is it any good? <clears throat> I had friends who used to watch it religiously. I like Dragon Ball Z. That's pretty similar. What is anybody else's anime in the chat? Favorite or one that you're currently watching? Because honestly, uh, I like suggestions for anime. <laughs> I don't. I wasn't gonna watch Demon Slayer, and I mean, I know everyone loves that now. But when I first was looking at it, I'm like, nah, nah, this ain't for me. I'm not gonna like this. And now I'm like friggin' obsessed over it. Demon Slayer is so. Good. I even did a Nezuko cosplay during Halloween, which. None of y'all saw. Because <laughs> I wasn't really on Twitch at the time. Oh yeah, Evangelion as well. You love Naruto? Oh, maybe I'll give it a shot. I've always seen it as like, oh, it's that cringy anime that nobody likes. 
But I think people see Dragon Ball Z as probably the same thing. <clears throat> and I'm <laughs> no um what do the what do the kids say? No cap. <laughs> No cap. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of that. I'm a huge fan of Dragon Ball Z. First anime. Oh god, that's such a good question. I wonder if you could guess. Well, let's put it this way. It was in English. Um, it was in 1994. And it is extremely popular. Yes! Sailor Moon! Correct. Still one of my favorites. Um, at least what I have seen of it. Because I am that kind of person who <laughs> doesn't necessarily take the time to watch everything even though they love it. Yeah, Moon Prism Power! Make up! Or the, or the English one, which I have a few VHS tapes of, actually. If we take off Pokemon... Wait... Hack sign. I've heard of it, but I've never seen any of it. First anime that you watched was Tokyo Ghoul. I think I've seen maybe an episode of that. Dot Hack. No, I've heard of that too. Oh, Dot Hack was your first manga. My first manga was... I think also Sailor Moon. <laughs> Ironically, but it wasn't just Sailor Moon. It was like this um, magazine called Mick, Mix M I X X Mix Magazine, and it had it had Sailor Moon. Um, it was kind of like Shonen Jump with extra stuff. So it had Sailor Moon, Magic Knights, Ray Earth, um, some basketball one, which I didn't really like. And Parasite. Parasite with a Y. Which if you like horror, <clears throat> uh, especially body horror, <laughs> or excessive violence in your anime, well, obviously watch Higurashi. But then, after you finish watching that, go watch Parasite or read the manga. It's very good. It's about aliens uh, invading their little alien parasites. And they take over people's body parts. Or bodies, depending on how successful they are. It's very creepy. We have a big fan of Doritos in the chat, too. Oh, you love Parasite! Ha ha! Yu Yu Hakusho. I've never seen that either. So, it might be a little obvious to those watching. Um, I grew up mostly watching, uh, how do I put it, more stereotypically um, feminine designed anime. I mean, I liked, I liked Dragon Ball, like, like crazy. I thought Dragon Ball was awesome. But my first love was Sailor Moon. I also watched Tenchi, Tenchi Muyo. Uh, I watched that in like 93, but I watched Slayers. Um, a little bit later on, I watched Azamanga Dayo. That's a really good one. Sh Shin, Shin Moneta. It's a trip. I've never heard of it, like, ever. I gotta look it up now, since that's a completely new one. Shino. Mm, Moneta. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, a boring world where the concept of dirty jokes doesn't exist. I've seen like three episodes of that. It was, um, yeah, <laughs> cute, but, um, sometimes, sometimes anime like that kind of grates on me after a while. Like it's amusing for a couple episodes and I'm like, okay, I need to turn this off. Oh, like, um. What's that one about snacks? The one about snacks. Um, the hell is it called? Anyway, there's an anime completely about snacks. 
bug snacks, obviously. No. And it has a really... Food Wars. <laughs> no, it's, um... God, what is it called? I'm just gonna type in Snacks Anime. Snacks at Wawa, no. Snacks Anime, yeah, it has this very, um... Basically, this girl main character is obsessed over snacks and kind of has... Well, like the like the Food Wars reaction, pretty much. Akikon? Mmm... She's right here. What What is this character's name? Hmm. Oh, Dagashi Kashi. Dagashi Kashi. I don't know what to watch after Naruto. I want to watch something with lots of fighting. Any suggestions? Have you watched Demon Slayer? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sundori has already suggested it. Demon Slayer is incredibly good. Like, holy crap. So, so much better than I assumed. I was like, oh, this is gonna be some, you know... Uh, not to, not to smat talk anybody's, you know, that anime you might like, but, um... I had seen, like, um... Trying to think of one that was very popular recently. The, uh, My Hero Academia? And... What's that other one? There's another really popular one recently, too. Oh, uh, ooh, ah! Uh, one Punch Man, if you haven't seen that. That's hilarious! One Punch Man is so, so good! It's so funny! <laughs> One Punch, yes. One Punch! Yeah, One Punch Man. It's incredibly... It's... Because it's like a... Um, it's like a deconstruction of Shonen, but it also still managed to, manages to be... Like, has super cool action and stuff. But it's like, the whole show is like a running joke. <laughs> You've slacked off on anime lately? Never did watch that many series? Yeah, that's kind of me. I mean, there are some, especially from a long time ago when I had more time to watch stuff. Um, but recently I've watched less and less. Like I would say starting from like 2010 on, I just haven't finished many series. Do you play Call of Duty Mobile? No. I, my last Call of Duty game that I actually enjoyed playing was Black Ops, like, 1. I kind of fell out of Call of Duty. I, I liked it a lot, uh, early on. I had Call of Duty 2 on Xbox, uh, 360. The one where you can't even run. Have you watched Wolf Children? No, what is that? Let me look that up. I love discussing anime, wolf, children. Oh, 2012 film. Is it a film? Fantasy drama. Ame and Yuki. Oh, it looks... Oh, that's so cool looking. That really good art. Oh my god, you know, it was really, really... Oh, wait, I don't want to say the, the anime, though. Because, uh... I mean, I want to suggest it. Um, uh, oh, oh, there's so many good ones. Jeez. <laughs> everyone, everyone have your pencils ready. Mysterious Girlfriend X. Looks gross when you first start watching it. Super charming. Super lovely. Really, really cute, even though it looks horrible at first. You're like, what is this? What is this filth? And then you're like, oh... It's still kind of weird, but that's super adorable. Um, uh, uh, oh god, um, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> People say your name was emotionally intense, but Wolf Children destroyed me. Oh god, I gotta watch it then. Wolf Children, okay, it's in my, it's in my history. Um, what's it called? Koi no, A Silent Voice. A Silent Voice is so... Oh my god, I'm almost crying just thinking about it. 
Um, and if you haven't seen it, if you haven't seen the Silent Voice, and you can get the manga, if you can um, find it on like a manga reader uh, or any way that you can read the manga, definitely do that. The manga is way better and oh i am i am legit about to cry remembering a scene from the manga that isn't in the anime that oh, it was it ruined the anime to see that they left the scene out i can't say what it was because it's like it's the it's like oh it's the biggest scene in the whole thing and man anyway a silent voice uh if you could find the manga please read that and if you can't the anime is you know also good you're about to set suggest that next cried so hard. Did you did you read the manga? <laughs> Probably not, but Um oh, if we if we talk before or after our stream, I'll tell you about the scene. Um that wasn't in the anime. And how it destroyed me. Puella Madoka Magica? Yeah, that one's really good. Silent voice was pretty damn sad. Yeah. Oh. Uh, God, there was one more too that I wanted to mention. In that same same vein. Oh, uh, Anohana. Um, the it's called like the the flower we saw that day. What game will I play now? Uh, I won't play anything else tonight. I usually stream for about four hours, and we're getting pretty close to that. So I'm just chatting before um, before ending the stream. But I will be back tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern to play Danganronpa V3, and then again at midnight Eastern to probably play more of this um, made murder game. Sinran Kagura. <laughs> then I have to change it to 18 plus. Oh yeah, Grave of the Grave of the Fireflies is um, yeah, it's based upon. It's not a spoiler. It's based on um, like World War II firebombing of Tokyo. So I I've never seen it, but I have been assured that it is incredibly sad. Um, Anohana is, um, is one of the ones that is, I can't l listen to the opening or ending theme without crying. I'm not, <laughs> and very little makes me cry. Um, <laughs> for reasons, which, you know, if we were doing a mental health stream, I would tell you all about. Um, but I, I almost don't cry ever. And that, that anime, <sighs> just, just hearing the theme song is enough so that's another one i fully recommend anohana and i will watch wolf children for sure about to stream call of duty mobile have fun i'm glad to see the god to hear that you're also a streamer Look at that salty chips. Well, I got you two minutes longer. Yes. Oh god, I'm freezing. What happened to me? Why am I... Why am I not moving? Did my iPad crash? You guys can still hear me, right? Oh. Psh. Thank you, iPad. I don't care if you didn't update. Sheesh. You got 30 followers. Congrats. Affy Joker. You created your account on my birthday. You gotta follow too. I'll check you out sometime. Affy. Kill a kill. No, I'm not, um, 
And I know if this is like a... <laughs> You're not allowed to say this. I'm not a big fan of... Um... God, what's the name of that studio? The studio that does it. They did that. They did, um, Gurren Lagan, And they did, um... Furikuri. Right? Am I thinking the right one? Or am I thinking of... Akame got killed. I'm not sure. You didn't hear me properly? Uh, I said I gave you a follow. I will check you out sometime. Or... That you... That you created your account on my birthday. April 24th. Oh yeah, Interspecies Reviewer. <laughs> I watched a couple episodes of that. I, I heard many um, interesting things about it. A lot of controversy. I think it was pulled, right? It was pulled from something or canceled? We're on Host Club. No, I haven't seen that. I have heard of it. I think um, my wife Nix probably has read or seen some of it. Or at least some of the uh, fan works. If I'm thinking of the right one. <laughs> Maybe not. Hope well, I'm not insinuating anything bad about... Um... Oh yeah, it was pulled, which caused it to become popular with anime fans. Yep. Well, I got in early and watched like three episodes. <laughs> I didn't watch Two Loveru. That's not, I don't know, just kind of a little bit out of my wheelhouse. I usually don't watch like straight etchy. Unless there's some, you know, some cool thing behind it. <laughs> Again, like Degashi Kashi, which is, um, it's not, it's not super, I mean, there's no nudity or anything, but it's obviously like <laughs> suggestive snack eating, which sounds ridiculous in context, but that's anime. Can you move your hand? Um, kind of. <clears throat> I will show you and it will probably look ridiculous. Hi! It's very janky. But I can, I can do that. I tend to avoid doing that because it looks silly. But I do have, um, a new hand tracker coming, so eventually I might have, like, very good movement, but we'll see. It never worked before, but we're trying a new one. Can you move both hands? Um, yes, but only individually. Nisekoi, that sounds familiar. I don't remember what that's about, though. There's another one, um... Which isn't good, but I enjoyed anyway. Uh, Brunhilder, something, something. Brunhilda in the darkness. It's it's similar to Elfin Lead, if anyone remembers Elfin Lead. Very excessively violent and like monsters and stuff, but cool. All right, well, I'm gonna start getting ready to head out. I think. I will check, just because of my voice. <sighs> I am very, very much enjoying talking to everybody. Uh, but I don't know how much longer my voice will last. So, I'm going to find someone to raid, if that's okay with y'all. You obviously are not obligated to stay and watch them, but if you would join me for the stream, or, or the, for the raid, I very much appreciate it. Hopefully it's somebody I know. Um... If not, let's see who's on. Do I know who this is? Bonnie VT? I don't know who that is. Why am I following people? I don't know who they are. Does anybody have a recommendation? For who to who to um, who to raid anybody that you know on your follows, 
that you would like to raid. If not, it will just be, um, the streamer sue the sloth. They don't necessarily need <laughs> the raid, but, um, but they are cool. They were, they were chill. I was watching them for like five hours <laughs> while I was rearranging everything in my streaming setup. You have nobody? Okay, then we'll do sue the sloth. You got blanks. Oh no! Gunslinger Gantz can't have blanks. If this was your stream, I would throw something at your face. But it isn't. So I can't. Oh no shit! You know Doki Doki Moon? How do we both know Doki Doki Moon? I don't know them through you, I don't think. I think I just found them. That's pretty cool. What a small world Twitch is. Must have ended up in their stream at some point? Hmm. I think I watched them play Paper Mario. I've, n I've only ever watched them do art. I think. I don't know, maybe... Maybe we did raid them one time. As I have mentioned before, my memory is incredibly bad for some things and incredibly good for others. So we will raid Sue the Sloth. And I don't really have a raid message, um, but I guess, <laughs> I guess nowadays we're doing maid raid. So just like, Maid Raid with some Oh, whoops. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I swear I can I know how to type. Well, those hearts should have had spaces so they would be emo 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 emotes. Yeah, like that. Sundari's got it. Oh, and I totally meant to ask, and I assume it is. That's a, that's a play on Sundere, right? If so, that's very clever. <laughs> You're cool. Okay, so let's um, let's raid Sue the Sloth. Raid. the sloth all right few four viewers are ready to raid sue the sloth okay cool we are ready for the raid so uh thank you all so much for coming out and watching it is great to have you all here um I never really, th I mean, it's silly to be like, oh, I'm so big now, but I never thought I was gonna, would ever have this many people watching this regularly. Uh, y'all are amazing. I hope you keep coming. And Sundori, I'll see you tomorrow. And thank you for playing a game with me. I'm honored. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Be back tomorrow at 7 for Danganronpa, and then again at midnight for who knows what. Probably the maid game again. Okay, bye everybody. Bye!